And you know I wear my heart on my sleeve You hit it all the reads Take your shit like you finna leave I go and hide your teeth Put you in position to win Bless you without a sneeze Bust you down and on the VV And we was getting cheap Overplay my part, I can't breathe I feel the pain in my lungs And you know I wear my heart on my sleeve You hit in all the reads Take your shit like you finna leave I go and hide your key Put you in position to win Bless you without a sneeze Bust you down in on the VV And we was getting cheap Overplay my part, I can't breathe I feel the pain in my lungs Mind in the building, man. We talk Hawks TV. We talk Hawks daily. Hawks fall to the Bucks, man. Ah, snap our four game. I mean, obviously, a snaps our four game winning streak. Um, let me just get this out the way first. Let me get this out the way first, man. Um, that second quarter is where we lost the game at. We lost the game in the second quarter. In my opinion, in my opinion, I know I'm just a fan, but in my opinion, I felt like the team kind of laid down in the second quarter, man. I feel like they allowed the Bucks to do what they wanted to do. Um, the Bucks was hunting for mismatches. We was letting them have it. Um and that's where we lost the game at 16 points in that second quarter. Let's go. Let, let's look here. Let's take a quick look. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, so let's take a quick look here, man. Um, right there, y'all see the uh let's go back here. Right here, the second quarter, right here. So you had 28 in the first. You're only down five. Okay? This is where the game was lost right here. The second quarter. 26, 17. You scored 17 points in the quarter. Okay? Um, I think the second quarter tonight... Uh, with Trey Young being out, 
I think that second quarter, the second quarter, I think it's probably the worst best. This is the worst quarter of basketball I've seen this play this on this home stand. Excuse me. On this home stand, I think that second quarter is the worst stretch of basketball we played this whole home stand. It was awful. It was awful. You end up finishing the half with six assists. Let me drop the link. Here's the link right here. Come through. Come talk to me. Let me know what you're thinking. But this second quarter right here, some of the worst basketball I've seen all year. Not even going to lie to you. The assists, six assists, not going to cut it. You cannot play a half a basketball and have six assists. And I, and I know you can say some of we had good shots in the second. On the offensive side, we just missed shots. You, you had open shots. We just could, we could not knock them down. We had no one to rely on in that second quarter. Okay, none. Um, let's take a look at. Let's go to the box score. Middleton was eating. He only took ten shots. Giannis was eating. He took twenty-two. Um, Beasley fought for 12, but he hit some clutch shots. Um, Patrick Beverly was six for 10, Bobby Porter, six for 10. Um, what we got? Bogey was cooking tonight, 12 for 23. DJ with an off night tonight, seven for nine. It didn't even feel like he took 19 shots, man. I'm gonna keep it with y'all, man. Uh, and my DJ to me was nowhere to be found in the second half. Nowhere to be, in my opinion. I could could be wrong, but in my opinion, he was nowhere to be found in the second half. Uh, Garrison Matthews was a non-factor. Uh, Bruno Fernando got to take my cap off to Bruno. He he single-handedly got us back into this game in that third quarter. Um, with the aggression, excuse me, not the third. I'm sorry, in uh the fourth quarter, with the aggression, um, the emotion, and it started to spread like wildfire. Uh, West Matthews, four for nine. I'll take that any day from the OG. Uh, he gave us good quality 18 minutes. Don't know why Quinn thought – I don't know I don't know why Coach Quinn thought it was smart to put him in the game and put uh, – and then ha ha have him switch on you. I don't know why he did that. It was stupid to me. Um, but, hey, I'm, ju I'm just a fan, okay? Um, <clears throat> let me see here. And uh, – what else I don't like is what else I don't like is even we get one, two, three, you got four people in double figures, but nobody else with a excuse me, one, two, three, four. You got five in double figures. Right? Five in double figures. Let's look at his shooting. Hunter had an off shooting night. Hunter Murray from the field was all awful. Murray at, from the three was awful. Uh, Hunter, great, forty percent from three. But like I tell y'all guys, doing a watch along. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, I uh, I expect my team to compete and put us in a position to win games. That's why I expect this team, because obviously, you know, ain't nobody gonna go no damn eighty two and zero. But I expect my team to come out and, and compete. That second quarter is what did us in. The second quarter did us in. But I like the fight that we had in the fourth quarter. We came out. We didn't lay down. We did not lay down. Um, we was awful as a team. Excuse me. Uh, as a team from three, you know, we picked it up. But a lot of that was, you, you know, was for nothing. We didn't hit, we, we didn't hit them when they mattered. Right. Um, and you saw a lot of that stuff start popping up toward the end of the uh, of the game. But like I said, my team came out in that third quarter, a little bit more with a lot more effort, with a lot more energy led by Bruno Fernando with the effort and the energy and the emotion. It, and we almost stole the game. We, we got the lead, at one point. We got the lead down to five in the in a. Uh, in the fourth quarter, we got it down to five. Could not get over the hump. 
could not get over the hump. Uh, it is what it is. Let's see. We was a minus one on the boards overall. You know, you end up picking. And, and, and that's your difference right there, guys. That's your difference right there. You got 24 assists considering you only had six at the half. So we end up getting 18 assists in the second half. If you play, if we play like that in that second quarter, it's a different scoreline. Okay. Five steals. We had three blocks. Usually we'd be double digits in steals. Milwaukee did a good job. They only had 10 turnovers. Good job taking care of the ball. 11 turnovers for us. That's good. We did a good job taking care of the ball. They outshot us, obviously, because they was getting a lot of high percentage shots in the, in the paint. Now, there you go right there. 52 right there to 50. They were the plus two on points in the paint. But as we know, a lot of our points came toward the uh came a lot of them came in the second half um of the game, right? By that time, I mean, at half, Milwaukee had already established paint dominance. We did beat them on second chance points, though, 19 to 6, excuse me, 16 to 6. Okay, so we got them right there. Fast break points, only 6 tonight. Why? You, you, you didn't force a lot of turnovers. They only turned the ball over, uh, and they only had 10 turns. Six points. I mean, it is what it is, so. Um, we tried, we gave it a good effort. That's all I asked from the team. Come out there, compete, and win, try to win the game and put ourselves in position to win the game. Good fight from the team in the fourth quarter. And that's all I got. Let's go holler at the homies. We got Mike in the building. What's up, my guy? Yo, what up, what up, what up, what up? Not much, not much. Man, I ain't, tough L. Tough L. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't tripping, man, you know. Um, you know, decent fight. Um, I mean, it was going to be a tough win if we did get it. I was hoping that we could going in, of course, but, you know, I ain't tripping, man. It's probably like one more person, probably the guard, Giannis, and uh, JJ or Double O or something like that, and we probably put, pull it out. Um, I don't know why or if Bruno was in, like, foul trouble or something like that, but um, Quinn should have rolled with him. That's what I was saying. Yep. Yeah, it don't, it don't, it don't make no sense, man. Just looking at the the closing lineup, yeah, I didn't really, I didn't fully get it. I mean, the Wesley part, you know, it's not like it was too much of a perimeter, you know. what I'm saying person killing us. I mean, I know Giannis goes downhill and he'll try and attack from the perimeter, but he probably should have closed the game out with Clint and Bruno uh, as a tandem. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah, yeah, we were saying that. We were saying that in the chat, like, yeah, you might be yeah. off the chat in the it's the fourth quarter. What we waiting on, you know? And it, him just taking out Bruno in a certain Clint. Like, I didn't understand the lineup or what he was trying to accomplish with Murray Bogey. Okay, I understand why they in the game. Yeah, those two check. I don't know why Wes Matthew was in the game. In the final five minutes, I, I I I couldn't figure it out. It's not like he's like That's some eight point shooter or something, right? Is it, 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 it mainly it was mainly Wesley Matthews. Um, Bruno should have been out there instead of Wesley. Yeah, and then uh, he took Bruno out and put in Clint, and I didn't yeah. understand that. Like Wesley, I mean, uh, uh, what's my guy named Bruno? I mean, he he got the arena fired up. He got the player fired up. He he was the only one playing with some type of force and aggression. Right. Yeah. And you can see it starting to pick up amongst the other players. So then when he yeah. takes him out the game, and I knew he was going to do it, because I said during the watch, I said, Quinn, don't take him out the game. That's Quinn, and, please. And he did it. Right. And I, I'm just back. And I hope somebody at the post-game press conference asked him, because Bruno only had four fouls. So, I mean. Yeah. He should have let him foul out, man. He definitely he definitely should have uh, just gone ahead and rock with him and let him foul out, man. Um, he should have closed the game out with him. I think that would have helped us out. Um DJ could have played better offensively, like you mentioned, and you know he and Dre didn't shoot well from the field. But um, as you see, DJ only had nine, 19 attempts. I'm not trying to claim that if he shot more, he would have made more shots or some crap like that. I'm just, you know, it was it was a bunch of unnecessary like harping on the 40 shot attempts, 44 or whatever shot attempts they took the last game. I'm like, bro, like that's that's not going to happen. Like it probably won't happen again. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like that's that's literally like a one-off situation. Like I won't focus on that too much. Bogey, Bogey led the way with the shot attempts. 
tonight. Um, he pretty much caught and passed him, you know, late in the fourth and stuff like that, in a sense, in the shot attempts. Um, but like I said, man, I I mean, I ain't tripping, man. I mean, the boys, they went out there considering everything, man. I mean, I know they wasn't necessarily fully healthy because Dane didn't play, right? Yeah, Dane didn't play. So, but at the same time, though, I mean, you still got Giannis, Brook, and Middleton. You feel me? Like, we we got, like, I mean, we don't even have a big three. I mean, we're supposed to have two. We got DJ and which, I mean, I guess our other our big three would be what Trey, DJ, and JJ, maybe or something. Sure. So, you know, we only had one per se of it. So like I said, but I, I, I yeah, I ain't tripping, man. Ain't nothing really to be too mad about or anything like hey. that. Or overly dissect. Overall, um, like I said, man, like if you would have told me when this homestand started, we were gonna go four and one, I would have took it. <laughs> I mean, bro, like for real, you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. Like, I am, I mean, I mean the, main thing, the game that I would be more so upset about, quote unquote, is the one that's coming up, you know what I'm saying? Like, regardless of what we got going on, like, I, I definitely need them boys to come against Chicago. Like, yeah, Monday's a playoff game, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, for, for sure. And Chicago, I'm pretty sure they're gonna treat it the same. I don't know what they situation is, injuries, whoop, whoop, but if they got boots. And and Drummond, you feel me? Like, and, and then Bulls run them out there together. Quinn better not be sitting here trying to play Wesley. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> with with only one big or something like that. But at the same time, I think we uh should have JJ back. So it's some encouragement. Um, I think they just wanted him to kind of get the extended weekend in the sense or whatever. Yeah. Know, throughout the weekend, the rest. So um, we should get JJ back Monday, which would. Yeah, you know, like would be great to kind of add somebody else into the mix and everything like that. Because Monday is a game that we need to win, man. So if I had to choose one between, I guess today and Monday or whatever, I'll take the Monday win. Facts, facts. All right, Mike, let's move on to Juan. What's good, Juan? Um, I mean, Bogey had a really good game. You know, what I mean, I felt this was a game where Trey was needed for a pace. Um, because they have their bigs and Trey can get downhill faster and we'll be able to move the ball a little bit more. Uh, we just don't have that with D DJ. DJ is a more of a, he picks his position and he's going to shoot. He's not a person that's going to get downhill and can make the defense react as fast. So Trey was sorely missed this game. Um, JJ was missed as well. You can put him in there at the four or the three and he, he's a person that you can guard one through four out there. Um, Vitz good, but Vitz not JJ. You know what I mean? Like uh JJ's hundred percent better than him in all aspects of the game. So it was missing that. And I understand why Wesley Matthews was in the end of the game. Wesley Matthews just came from playing with the Bucks. He has extensive experience practicing against uh Giannis in practice and knowing him as a teammate. Also, he's a better, he's a better uh player for where Giannis was catching the ball at. We have to remember Giannis was catching the ball 17, 18 feet away from the basket. You put you put Bruno or Clint on there, they're not gonna be able to move their feet as fast and they're just gonna pick up easy fouls. You know what I mean? Uh what you're giving up though is seven, eight inches in the uh, height. Matthew should have never been in that game at the end. I get it, man. He, he went he went with the experience. He went with the experience. I mean but he just had a possession to where Bruno well, Giannis did attack from the three-point line, and Bruno guarded him the whole way down to the baseline and for forced a turnover. So I don't understand why he would e even think. And then as soon as you put Wesley Matthews in there, they go right at Wesley Matthews, three-point play. Like, it made no sense to me. It made zero sense to me. He has four. I, I mean, I don't know. He had four fouls, so I don't know if he's trying to save him fouls, but, like. And didn't even put him back know, in the like, the dude's the MVP for a reason. I mean, he killed us uh, in the second half. But anyway, you know, 4-1 um, on the homestand. Um, just got to keep winning to secure the play-in. You got to try to at least get ninth place so you can at least have the home game for the uh, the first play-in game. Me, yeah. you know how I am, man. I just don't know what to make of what we're doing. Like, I don't know, you know, like, we come together. I know this team ain't going to look like this here in a couple. I, I don't know. Like. I guess you just enjoy the moments as a Hawks fan, but like that's all you me, can do, man. But but like me, you know how I am. You know how I feel. Like I just I don't want to just keep enjoying the moments. I would I, I would like to be in a position to contend for a championship, you know what I mean? But that that's all we can do right now. Can't do nothing right now. That's why I, that's why I that's the, that's what I do. I enjoy the moments until this ownership 
get us some championship players, man. All you can do is enjoy the moments. You can't do nothing. Trey, Trey and JJ were sold to miss tonight. Uh, I think we could have won that game if we would have had those two tonight. No, we uh, should have won that shit tonight. Just with pace, man. Like, I don't know, bro. Like, it's, it's me. I'm, 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 look, I'm just a, I, I'm just a fan of respect. You take away that second quarter, it's a whole different game. Yeah, the mom, but it killed us. A lot of isolation, yeah. a lot, a lot of one on one, no ball movement in the second, in that second quarter. Yeah, I mean, but 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 Bruno Bruno and, and Bowie kind of like carried us in the second half because no, I'm, I'm talking about the I second know, quarter. I'm talking about I know I'm saying no. and I'm saying no. Bogey and Bruno kind of carried us in the second half with yeah. Bruno's energy and Bogey's shot making. You know yeah. what I mean? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, so, was good and it and Quinn Snyder thought it was smart to take him out the game. I mean, I know, man. It, it 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 is what it is. The season I mean, is overall has been disappointing. Be he must be hanging out with John Tay Porter. <laughs> hey Mike, I see you in the comments. I agree. I, I said the same thing. That's what I was just saying. Well, it is what it is. Hold up, man. I got the under on Bruno tonight. Get your ass out the game. I know. Shout out to the Braves, though. They put up another whipping on Phillies. Man, that's that's all I got. The Braves right now, man. We got 160 <laughs> games to go, bro. Now, I fuck with them niggas when this season over with. I ain't worried about no Braves like that. I'm over here struggling and hurting right now. <laughs> Let me go. We got John in the building, man. What's good, John? Don't drink the Kool Aid. Don't drink the Kool Aid. Man, I couldn't get in because I was rolling. Hold on, John, you've been practicing, huh? You've been practicing. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, better I, the keyboard, I, I, man. You can. This is my first day back messing with this thing because I, I, I just got back from Houston. Um, and I tried to get in uh, a couple of nights ago when you, you guys were on, but I, but my signal was, you know, I guess Mississippi just got the internet, so hey, hey it's new. You know, they, they don't know how to handle. It. They don't know what to do with it. Um. I, I really want to wait for the open forum because see, we we need to discuss some business. Okay. Because we we really need to discuss some business because I was hearing all of this crazy talk about Murray and what he was doing and all of this, and I saw everything that he was doing. But guess what? Your scoring is still coming from the point guard spot. <laughs> so. He just took Trey Young's spot and everybody else is following along and nobody knows in that part. Nobody knows in that part. And see, tonight, tonight, this is why you need two scoring bigs out there. Because what I was noticing tonight, Giannis and Lopez, they weren't checking anybody. They were just packing the dog on lane, waiting for somebody to drive in. That's all they were doing. They were resting on defense because Clint Capella wasn't a threat. Uh, Bruno wasn't a threat. There were times when Bruno had the ball four or five feet away from the goal, passing it to somebody. Well, not not in the second half. He didn't do it in the second half. Now, uh, in the first okay. half, when when we lost the, the game. See, we lost the game in the first half. We, really yeah, we, lost, lost, in, we lost in the second quarter. We stopped. Yeah. We stopped. yeah. There was I mean, no ball movement. There was nothing going on. No ball movement. Uh, uh, people missing shots. They were scared to drive to the basket because Brooke Lopez are either a pop. I don't know why because Brooke Lopez not a shot blocker. But he was intimidating people from coming down there. He, he was scaring people from coming down there because they wouldn't go. They wouldn't go. Well, no, they, they, they were going, him. but for some reason, when they get down there, they would pick like Trent and Bogey. They would get all the way to the basket and pick up their dribble. I don't know what they was doing. Yeah, they, they, they picked the dribble up because they just waiting on them. They wait on him to go up. He doesn't have he doesn't have to block the shot as long as he puts this up there in front of your face. He got you. He mm -hmm. got you. So if you had someone to make them work on the off on their defensive side of the ball, mm -hmm. it opened it up for everybody else. I maybe mean, uh, and then you can score because see, this, this game tonight, this mm -hmm. game tonight was a big man game. It was a big man game. You know. You, 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 you had scoring from Giannis. He driving down there like, you, you know, nobody's in front of him. Old Popeye, he's hitting shots from the outside. 
Brooke Lopez, he didn't do that much, but he was just, like I said, just patrolling down there. If you had some bigs, we need scoring bigs. Now, Clint Capella, I'm going to tell you, tonight and in the previous three games, I saw a Clint Capella that was trying. He was he, trying. He's not, he not a scoring big, though. But, no, he's not. He is not. But you didn't see that uh, reverse, the reverse layup he missed tonight? Man, shoot, he was missing a four. You didn't see that wide open dunk. Yeah. That for some reason, so for some reason, he felt like he was Kareem Abdul Jabbar and threw a hook when nobody he, was in the lane. With him and him and uh double O, they don't do nothing but throw balls at the basket anyway. They don't shoot, they just I throw. Think, I think they I think they do it like soccer. You know, soccer, they tell you to go, never move, just shoot it. Yeah, just turn around, just throw it. Uh, uh, you don't even have to look at it, just throw it at it. <laughs> You know, and if he could jump, he'd have about 30 rebounds like Moses Malone. Because Moses Malone couldn't dog on shoot work for nothing either. But he just kept, he would just keep working. But, hey, I, I wait to the open for him. I wait to the open for him. All right, John. All righty. We got Matt in the building. What's good, Matt? Uh, what's going on, Jamal? I have uh, so many. Luck, y'all lucky I, I'm not feeling well. But I got so many ways to go, so many things to hit on. Go on, um, hit on the man. Hit on them. Uh, I just want to start off by quoting uh, Ryan, you know, from the Birdcage, who said, uh, quote, he he can't, be here tonight. Right, couldn't, couldn't be here, but he said, uh, Murray pl played very mediocre, no excuses, and you can quote him. So, you know, I'm, I'm not, oh, yeah, uh, yeah, I'm Murray, not just for me. Um, was I, I'm, dis I'm, I'm also disappointed now. Granted, Demond, I didn't hear everything you said. I just heard you and Mike's interaction. Um, I'm disappointed that Mike didn't mention the point guard. Any, I mean, our best player basically um, has been the last three weeks. Didn't score a field goal in the whole second half. I mean, chances are when your best player doesn't score the second half, you're not mm -hmm. going to win that game, right? I know. That's so how we, that's how we lost Game Six at a playoff last year. Right, right, right. So I mean, or our second best player, whatever you want to call him, Murray B. No, I'm talking about no, the best player. The best player lot did the exact same thing in Game Six of the playoff last year. I thought he had 30 at halftime. No, he had 25. He only finished oh, with 25 30. at halftime. Yeah, 25. I think that's half. more than what is that more than what Murray had the whole game tonight? Yeah, and he had but, five. He had five for the uh, rest of the game. Murray carried that for the rest of the game. But go ahead. Yeah. 15 points in the second half. I, 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 I won't say 15 yeah, points in the second half in game six. I don't, that's carrying. Yeah, they I don't think that's carrying. But all right, Demond. So, I mean, I, I, as long as we get it out there, we agree and we can actually bring up the fact Oh, yeah, he was he, awful. He was, he, was, I, he, was, I he, he was shitty in the second half, you know. Yeah, the I ball movement mm -hmm. and the pace that you talk about that we were missing in the second quarter. Again, I look back to my, my point guard and I look back I to look the to comments. The, I, look to the, I look to the coach. Okay, okay. I look to I look to the point you guard. Already know what, you already know what Murray the pace slows down. You already know that. So the no, coach, no, not, the not just with not not just with not just with the uh, the pace, but also the mm -hmm. ball movement. Right, the passes. Who, who per called possession, the play? Did he call the the, the so passes per possession? The coach has the overall, no. The coach the has assist. no responsibility. Six assists is mm -hmm. awful. But but Dema, but Dema, I, I've heard what was so much. Over, tonight? I've heard so Dema, I've heard so much over the last few weeks about. How um, the guys are so much more energized playing with Murray. They, they were Fox energized. More. They got energized. The moves. And your coach and your coach took the inner, the, per, the the player who energized the team. He took him out of the game. Right, uh, but the the inner the, the the guys perk up to play with Murray. They move the ball. The ball has energy and life more. You know, it, it, yeah, they play. It was a it lot conflicted of with it, it conflicted. It conflicted with the game tonight. Um, it was a lot of Mike, we gave up. Mike. Mike Mike, we gave up over 120 points without, you know, other not not it's not just Trey's other guys who were missing, but we gave up a, over 120 again mm -hmm. against another good team, right? Mm -hmm. But look, all, over all, we gave up 120 versus the Lakers. We gave up 120 versus Sacramento. Oh. I mean, um, uh, Phoenix. We gave up 120 versus Brooklyn twice. But anyway, look. And how much did um, we give up against the Wizards? But 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 so the 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 point guard I thought the the point guard matchup was it was big right our point guard was ineffective um, their point guard Patrick Beverly had a good game I have to get eighteen nineteen points um, 
obviously, you know, Giannis is going to score that against anybody. Um, so that, I don't really care about Giannis points. Chris Middleton killed us, you know. I've heard so much. Middleton, Middleton about, didn't play when we beat them at the beginning of the year, did he? I don't think nope, so. No, he didn't play. I don't, I don't think so. But – um, but uh, Dane played that game, and uh, he didn't play tonight. Yeah, Dane so, easier to guard you know. than for us. But Middle, Middleton um, was guard, and I know Gerald talked a lot about Vic Krejci. You know, he wanted to see Quinn switch that matchup. But again, I go back to my my my, my boy Mike. You know, and others who pointed mm-hmm. out and has pointed out Krejci's um, you know staunch defensive um, who was Chris, you know, who was Krejci abilities. Guarding? Who was he guarding? He started out on Chris Middleton. Um, you know, it, it, it was awful. And then he switched on to Giannis. But that was also awful. Is Middleton, so, is, is Middleton an all-star? He is. He is. Is Middleton a max money player? Uh, not max, right under. No, does he make max money? I know. I said right under. I don't think he makes no, he max ma- money. He makes max know. money. He made max money. Uh, I don't. I don't think he does, Demond. I, I don't make think he. A hundred million dollars for him. I don't think that's max money. So you but, tell me. But DeMond, so you telling me but, you upset. But, so you telling me you upset because Vic Krejci mm-hmm. on a two way contract. Oh, uh, don't bring up the qualifier now, Demond. Could not. He could, he could don't not shut down. Him. Okay, watch this. Then. So you try to hate on a guy. I'm not I hating. Got, uh, I'm not, Demond, I'm not hating. I'm saying the no, last couple the way you weeks, say it. the last couple so games, the last couple it. weeks, so the last couple it. weeks, I've heard Krejci. a lot about. I've heard a lot about Vic Krejci's so you excellent Vic defense, Krejci defense prowess. To shut down Chris Middleton, did you expect that? I did. You not did. shut him down, Demond. Why would you I expect did. that? What gave? What? Why would you expect that? And I don't want to hear because what nobody else, what nobody else said. Why would you expect that to happen? I believe Chris Middleton had six points last game. And I think the game before that, he had like nine. And the game before that, he had like 14. So and his who, last three games. they play? His, his last few games. I think they played the Clippers last game. They, okay. You know, so th- his yeah, last few games, he struggled. So, and oh, not, not struggled. only that. So because he struggled, he struggled, struggled, he, he struggled late. He, okay, let's see what Chris Middleton did then. What did Chris Middleton do tonight? I think he had 21 or something. But he, he struggled recently. And. I, you know what I'm saying? And right. I'm expecting – Crate and Krejci did play decent defense on Tatum in the first game Monday. And, you know, he mm-hmm. struggled the last game defensively. And then tonight he struggled defensively. Um, so, you know, but mm-hmm. they, to me, Damon, I thought they lost the game. It came down to what I've always said, the best players. Chris, uh, Chris Middleton, Giannis against no, Bogey and, Bo- Bo- and um, DJ. And Bogey match Giannis. Um and you know okay I'll score Giannis. Yeah, you know I'm saying he matched Giannis. You know he it was a wash. Mm-hmm. I think three points. He washed, wash, right? But I thought in the in the moments where it mattered, Middleton was more impactful than with DJ. Right. You know, that, that was the second quarter. Down to. That was the second quarter. I'm, I'm, no, I'm was, saying I'm not saying I'm not saying fourth quarter, third quarter. I'm just no, saying I'm, when, I'm, when I'm like, telling you, the second quarter is where we lost the game. That's what Chris Middleton did a lot of his work. That's what. They would exploit mismatches with Hunter. Try, I don't know why your coach had Hunter on Lopez in the paint. I have no idea why we did that and why he had Clint guarding Giannis at the fucking three point line. I have no idea. But well, uh, he's probably he was probably he was probably um, trying to um, not make sure he got ahead of steam to the rim because once he get ahead of steam not? to the rim, you can't. ain't nothing you, you can, can do. Can. Yeah, you can. Miami well, know how to do it. Demond, they have personnel we don't have. Not on the defensive side. You just said talk. Him attacking the basket. They don't got nothing to do with it. Giannis them. attacking the basket down here. We don't have to – we don't – tonight, I, we do have the personnel, but they're not playing. Tonight, we didn't have the personnel. No, and I know – They were just fucking scared. I know, I, I know I know. foot in them not here, but, like, tonight should show you, like, energy and effort doesn't make up for talent. Like, if you don't have the talent, yeah, energy and effort is cool, but <laughs> it only gets you to a certain point. Well, At some I can't, point, you got to have talent. With, I don't agree with that. So, so you, so you think talent? You just brought up Chris. The difference between Chris Middleton and Max Player and Vic Krejci, right? No matter how much effort Vic Krejci if gives, play, he's not as talented as Chris Middleton. We play good Hawks basketball in the second quarter. That's a different. It's a different scoreline. We lost the game in the second quarter. We all scored them in the second half. When we came out, yeah. the ball started moving, started making some shots. We started getting high percentage shots. That's what happened. Yeah, Demont, but two, 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 but Demont, to John's point, our point guard took 
15 attempts in the first half, right? So I, I, that's I, what I don't I care how many attempts he made. The dude, he didn't show up. That's all. I, he, he didn't show no, up. No, no, but I'm saying, but no, no, I'm not. I, I mean, we know that. I'm talking about. I'm talking about the ball moving. The ball. So you talk about the ball not moving in the first half or right. in the first second quarter. If the point guard who brings the ball down the court shoots 15 times in the first half, that's going to not, you know, what I'm saying result in ball movement. Now Hunter Hunter was bad tonight. Um, you know, Clint obviously with them damn let miss layups. Oh my God, have mercy, get him off the team. Um, I, uh, Garrison Bird didn't do nothing. Um, Windler didn't do anything. So I mean, it was a it, nobody really did anything besides bogey. But I'm just saying, if you if you if the focus is on the lack of ball movement, I would point to the point guard taking 15 attempts in the first half as a inhibit to the ball movement. Okay. All righty, let's go to Mikey. We'll we'll be back on the open forum. Let's go to Mikey. What's good, Mikey? Yo, um, y'all know how I like to you know go to the ins and outs of the game, try to like go deep, break everything down. Yeah. There's not really much to say about that in that department for this game. Like, obviously, Bogey played amazing. You know, grabbing 10 boards, to double-double for Bogey. He played amazing. But uh, I think this game purely comes down to size. And Juan, I think Juan pretty much hit the nail on the head with, with what he was talking about. Without Jalen in on Yekka, this matchup is, is just – it's absolutely terrible for, for the Hawks because – in the first half, and, you know, I, I saw a lot of people questioning why Clint was on Giannis uh, and why DeAndre was on Brook Lopez, but that's what the Hawks have done in the past. And we know, as Hawks fans, that the Hawks have had success against the Bucks in the past. But without JJ, without Onyeka, it was, it was, so, it was so hard to, to, to contain either one of them. And, and Giannis just... Giannis pretty much all, all he did was when he got the ball against Clint at the top, all all he did was like you know series of spin moves. He can, he has a handle at his size that Clint just can't keep up with. And then you, obviously you have DeAndre Hunter and Brook Lopez. They're gonna throw the ball over Dre's head when he fronts him in the post. It's gonna be an easy bucket. Like there really isn't much to talk about. I don't think with this, um, you know, Dejounte had a subpar game. Uh, he's he's I think he should win Player of the Month. He's been playing him. What is He's been playing amazing so far this uh, under this stretch. But, you know, if we're, we were to go 4-1 on this homestand, that's it's just obviously great. But I'm I, honestly, uh, my advice to everybody listening to this would be don't take too much into this game. And now if we had Jalen and Onyeka, I mean, even without Trey, I think we still stay, uh, stand a chance. Obviously, we'd be better off uh, with Trey. But um, with Jalen and, and or Onyeka, I, I didn't see – I didn't – see us being able to hold the Bucks under a, a consistent amount of points. And then the last thing I, I want to point out is that second quarter. Um, when DeJounte goes out after the first quarter, you, Trent Forrest has been really rough uh, probably over the past week and a half. The offense stalled out. Uh, no ball. It was, it was just they could not break the paint. Nobody, nobody could get past the defense to make them collapse. And, yeah, you can say just drive the ball and you'll get in there. It's not that simple. Like they, nobody could break the paint. The Bucks defense was standing still. No, no forced rotations. I, that was mainly the, the area where we lost the game. And then on defense, uh, for all the reasons I just mentioned. So, yeah, overall, I wouldn't, I wouldn't take too much stock into this game. I don't think there was much, honestly, that the Hawks could have done differently to, to try to stop Giannis and that Brook Lopez kind of mismatch there. But. I mean, yes, yeah, still, still, they're they're playing really well. Hopefully, this doesn't you know discourage them, and they still, they still got an important game on Monday. Obviously, with Chicago right in front of them, uh, in the stand in the standings for the play-in. So, they don't have Levine obviously out for the year. Uh, Kobe White's back; he's healthy. Uh, Demar's healthy. Vucevic. So, we'll see what we'll see what they can do. But yeah, that's that's kind of my thoughts there. And hopefully, we uh, hopefully we get Jalen back for that game. Yeah, maybe, I think maybe that's why they pulled him out uh, of this game because I thought he was going to play tonight. When yeah, they put normally, him in but. I mean, especially, especially with the ankles, like there's no and and how the Hawks are pretty much locked into the ninth or tenth seed. There wasn't there wasn't much need, obviously, to rush Jalen back, but he right. definitely would have he definitely would have helped in this matchup. But yeah, I, I don't think there was much Quinn could have done. I, I don't think there was much 
that the Hawks could have – like, I, the, the effort was there. There was no, like, laziness or anything tonight, I, I don't think, at least. Um, but I, I don't think there was much the Hawks could do with the personnel they were missing against the personnel the Bucks had. And they didn't even have Dame. Uh, Pat Bev defended DeJounte, I thought, pretty well. Uh, but, yeah, like I said, DeJounte – Dante just oh, didn't play well. He's been playing amazing, though, so you can't, you know, you, you, you can't give him a pass, but you do have to recognize that he's been bowling. So, yeah, it is what it is. All right, that's Mikey. Appreciate you, my guy. And we got a uh, hold up. <laughs> the homeboy Carlos say Trent Forrest. Trent, tr Trent Trash Forrest respectfully. From the homeboy Los Los, he done with him. I hate to break, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, man. He ain't going nowhere. He with us to the end of the season, man. I would just like to see be a little bit more aggressive, man. He a whole different player when he at College Park, man. Let's bring on the homeboy Larry, man. What's good, my guy? What's what's up, Larry? <laughs> <laughs> Quinn sold us. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That says it all, man. Uh, all right. Everybody talking about the second quarter, this, then, the third. All right. We definitely um, played bad in the second quarter, especially when Cardio Lamb in there. You don't know who Cardio Lamb is. He ain't even a goat. He a lamb. Cardio Lamb is Trent Forrest, what Carlos said. Yeah. Cardio Lamb is garbage, man. Garbage juice. Septic tank juice, whatever you want to call juice, that's what he is. But let's get out the people that shouldn't even be playing. But that's a Quinn guy, and we know Quinn guys play. Uh, why did Cardio Arrow, that's you know, my man, uh, Wesley Matthews always shoot an arrow whether he miss or make it. Uh, why did he play 19 minutes? Hold on, hold on. Let me let me talk about the press conference before I really go in. So we giving Quinn a lot of passes right here. Oh, Quinn couldn't do nothing, man. That's cap. Quinn said in the press conference, he was like, you know, it's really hard to guard this team. You know, they got so much size and stuff like that. So your great idea was, you know what? I'm gonna take out Big Crichty, who's a better defender than. Uh, then Wesley Matthews. I'm going to put in Wesley Matthews. And I'm going to put, and I'm going to take out Bruno, who has literally got eight, eight of his 10 points in the, um, in the fourth quarter. We hit a mid range jumper, energized the team. We was down by five. He was running out, st stopping. There was a couple of times with Giannis or um, Porter, Bobby Porter's with the eyes. Bobby Porter's running out on fast break. Normally, those are dunks. He cut them off at least like twice. So I'm just like, okay. So you got somebody who energized the team. You don't brought it back. You were down by 18 points. You down by five now. Your brilliant idea was bring in buttery bricks. You don't know who buttery bricks is. That is Clint Capella because he got buttery fingers and he shoot up bricks. So buttery bricks comes back and enter the game now. Guess who can sit in the paint all day and don't have to check them? Brooke Lopez. So, again, your coach, your genius coach, thought that was a good idea. Thought that putting Clint Capella and Wesley Matthews in the game because it was a, what, a revenge game? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Y'all going to sit here and look me in my eye and tell me that Coach Quinn didn't sell this game. Salute, salute. The, hey, that's. <laughs> that's that's Josh fired the Quinn. Hold on, we got another one. I got my own, bro. Hey, that's for uh, that's for buttery bricks. <laughs> buttery bricks. I got my own, bro. You got to make a shirt out of that one, Larry. Oh, buttery, buttery bricks, bricks, bro. You got to get that's a shirt what we call on them on my Larry. screen. And you Larry gotta get know. That Somebody buttery make him a shirt. Mike, bricks. make him a shirt. Buttery bricks, man. Mike, make shirts. And put a stripe on the butter. Put a blonde stripe right there. Or car roll. Either way, buttery bricks. Man, I can't believe people are sitting in here giving Quinn 
the momentum literally shifted when he did that. Dude rarely used timeout, but he used a timeout to call out and say, let me take out the guys that's helping this run. Let's put in these guys. And as soon as he did that, it went from 5 to 12. In a mother instant. In two possessions. Like, and guess what? The last thing I want to say, and we can get off this, the Bucks outside of Coach Quinn selling, the Bucks won this game off the free throw line, guys. Period, point blank. The refs. Uh, look at this. Giannis Antetokounmpo, 16 rebounds. I mean, 16 free throws. He was 12 for 16, okay? The Atlanta Hawks as a team, 15 for 18. I rest my case, Giannis. Let's go to the open form. <laughs> and that's a homeboy liar, man. Buttery bricks. Hey. Uh, we got the OG in the building, man. What's good, Kool-Aid? You on mute, Kool-Aid. Uh, all right, you hear me now? Yeah. What's going on, man? None took an L today, but I ain't tripping, man. Four on one on the homestand. Hey, I, I didn't think we were going to do that good, so. Hey, like I said, man, uh, we got to keep drinking that Kool-Aid. No sugar, no alcohol. Hey, what you thought about the game tonight, man? Hey, man. Well, I, well, I, I'm, I'm, I, I was listen to you in the first part of, you know, about Giannis, right? Yeah. And uh, yeah, we need to play Giannis like you play Ben Simmons, man. Bag up off him about a few feet, man. Make him shoot, shoot that stuff, man. I agree mm -hmm. with that. You know what I'm saying? We probably yeah. got about that and try to run Lopez down in the paint to get him off that three point line. Let's try to switch him out, push Giannis out there on the three-point line, make him shoot that if he's going to stand out there like an idiot, knowing he can't shoot it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, but DJ got to get us to that. He got to get us through this play in, man. I'm, yeah, I'm, man. Because yeah, he should. You're on your boy hard about getting us through that this play in because uh, we playing big. We're going to play another team that we got to play big with. Uh, and in the first half, I saw us do what I always say. You uh, either live by the three or die by the three. And sometimes when the Hawks play big, when they play big teams, they have a tendency to shoot like that because they don't attack as quick as they would shoot jumpers. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and just in that first half, I saw them do that. But. They had a chance to beat the Bucs because the Bucs three-point shooter was shooting bad, too. They weren't shooting good. Which I'm glad that your boy, what his name, uh, the one who was shooting and missing a lot of threes for the Bucs? Uh, I mean, uh, Beasley? Beasley, yeah. Beasley don't usually shoot that bad. Yeah, he was awful from three tonight, but he hit some clutch ones, though. The ones he hit was clutch. Oh, man. Thank God he was awful because we left him out there a lot. You know, and I think yep. if he would have been hidden, we would it would have looked even worse. But we just shot bad, you know. And I, I think I, I think you know, Coach Quinn, Coach Quinn get in a situation like that, he don't know what to do because his game is to tell his boys to keep shooting the three. Mm -hmm. You hit or miss, and so his game is to shoot the three, shoot the three, and and you know, once he start getting finicky, man, he gonna make bad decisions. So. I mean, taking Bruno out of the game. I don't know why he always do that, but when Bruno try to get everybody fired up, then he yeah, man. Lord to Clint Capella. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Some loyalty with Clint Capella. He did it. Like I said, he did it last year too. With with the in in the, uh, I think in the Boston game, a couple of times when he had JJ in, and we were like we were making a run, and then mm -hmm. he, he the Clint. He put Clint in, and then we lost off the run and. So his lawyer did the Clint to play Clint, you know, to get them minutes in for some odd reason for Clint. So, but uh, I just think we just need to just stay drinking that Kool Aid, man, and uh, and and, and 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 I want DJ to get us to to Game Four of the Celtics. So Trey will come back and go on and, and knock them sectors out, and then you see, you saw the day that the Bucks look vulnerable, man. Yeah, well, I mean, we could have beat them tonight if it weren't for that second quarter. Shit, no telling what we can do, bro. I'm telling you, man. I I'm telling Cass, man. 
we not a 10th seed roster, man. So, I but mean. This, yeah, man. I was looking at a little bit of, of the G League Hawks. I mean, why John ain't up here, man? I mean, point guard John. I mean, I don't understand the twelve, the, the, the whatever name Whitler signing, man. I don't understand that that signing, man. I don't know, man. You got to talk to Landry, dog. Man, that's what I'm saying, man. Can you imagine if Landry would would play the guys that we know that should be playing right? Can you imagine if we had Miles Norris playing the power forward spot and move and move Cretchy? Big to his to his to his uh his uh point guard spot. Can you can you imagine how big we'll be? We have a six ten four and a they, six seven. Huh? But remember, they they let they made Miles a free agent to to get Vit. So, oh, so Vit would be a six. <clears throat> so you got to get rid. Of, you will have to get rid of. Uh, they could have got rid of Trent Ford, but we don't have yeah. no other guard. So uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. But I'm just saying. But if 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 we want to sign, want to pull a Dwiller. You see what I'm saying? And went back and got Trent Forrest. Yeah, they could have done that. Yep. So if you had some loyalty, you would have went back and signed Miles Nars. You know what I'm saying? Hey. You, you would have had a 6'10 forward and a 6'7. Can you imagine Vic and, and Miles Nars on the floor together? And Miles Nars been at College Park for two years, so he know he know the system and know everything. Three. Yeah, he can. So I mean, like, and we doing good. With that, with without with, with, the, with the bad moves, you know, mm -hmm. you know, like I say, you know, when I was talking about the misfits uh, using root. Hey, we still got the giant trying to help us out. We got, we'll get the giant with us, you know. We just got to get this this month. This game with the Bulls gonna gonna tell us where we gonna be, bro. Yeah, this game Monday gonna gonna be it gonna be a crucial that that Bruno. And and Clint Capella play very well, man, because they 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 gonna be they playing. They know where they at. they want their home floor. Mm -hmm. They got I think they got the uh, the tiebreaker on us. So if they got the tiebreaker, you know that mean if we tied up at the end, they gonna get home court. But we need to beat them so that give us some kind of edge. So yeah, mm -hmm. but um, I'll sit with y'all in the back, man. All right, Kool-Aid. Salute to the homeboy Kool-Aid, man. Salute to my guy Demario with a super sticker, man. Appreciate that. Salute to my oh, man. That nigga be having me rolling. Let's go ahead and go to the open forum, guys. Wow. I gotta go use the latrine real quick. We got Mike in the building. Yo, buddy, you got in, yo. Ooh, yo, yo. Hey, let me ask y'all something real quick to get it started. No. What would be uh with the the roster we have now? Okay, the people that's available. What would have been y'all uh game plan to go against the Bucks? See, think we already said that. I feel like I mean, you talking about going into the game? I mean, yeah. I mean, we were we were right there. Well, I don't want to okay. say necessarily right there, like we were down two or something, but. But coach should have rocked out with Bruno, man. The you sh I mean, you bring Clint back. It should have been Bruno and Clint as a tandem in the uh front court. And if you lose, you lose. But you should have lost that what? way instead of trying the other way. What do you mean what? <laughs> Hold on, wait, 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 wait. So, so Chris Middleton, Chris Middleton was killing us, right? And y'all want and. Y'all normally complain that we don't rebound well, so it's, that's it's, why Capella got that's why Capella got back inserted into the game. It's because man, you don't, bro. I swear to God, bro. You like somebody said this before, bro. You like the smartest dumb nigga ever, dog. He's so educated and stuff like that. I swear your listening and comprehension is horrible, dog. Like I, I did not like. Did I say? I didn't say. I, did I say you? I, did I say you? But I'm, I'm saying, though, bro, I'm trying, why I'm are you trying to explain up? why Bruno? I'm trying to explain why Bruno wasn't in the game. That's a dumbass said. decision. That's a dumbass decision. But we wasn't we wasn't losing on the boards, Matt. So that's what I'm saying. Matt, like he brought, Matt, hey, Matt, but you said, but Matt, you just brought up the fact Matt. that we always complain about losing the boards. Well, then, nigga, that's more of a reason for Bruno and Clinton to play together, right? No, no, because I just told you before that Chris Middleton was killing us. So if I go with uh, yeah. DJ Bogey. Uh, who's the three? 
if okay, I say this. I might be tripping, and I didn't watch the winning. Stretch. Why did you go with Wesley Matthews at the three? That's what I'm about to say, Larry. Chip Larry, Giannis. Larry, the last five minutes of this game tonight, who was beating Riddle us? That shit, bro. Huh? Who Riddle was killing us the last five minutes? What do you mean that? It wasn't Matt? Chris Middleton. Matt, you smart. Tell me what was that coverage of putting Chris, putting Wesley Matthews on Giannis? What was that? Because Giannis notoriously struggles against guards or smaller players that can get into his body. He always struggles against those chicken, type man. of players. I ain't thinking about you, man. Shut up, man. He, al he always up, struggles man. against players that you, can man. get into his body. He, he does. He's not struggling against him, man. Yes. Stop. He struck. He no, Larry. He struggles against guards or smaller players that can get into his body. He always has. If that's, that's the, the case, case Matt, that Matt, that, that, that ain't building a Matt, wall. That's how you Matt, stop. If Giannis. that's the case, if he, that's the he, case, he struggled if that's that the case, come he didn't do that to start the game or, or do it in the first half. Your coach is dumb. Your head coach is dumb. Your head coach is dumb, bro. When does Giannis dumb. quote unquote struggle struggle with, with, with that? I mean, maybe because the smaller player can cut his initial charge. I mean, again, I might be blind or I'm stupid, but I'm sorry. But I was watching the game and parts that I was seeing when Giannis was at the perimeter trying to attack and Bruno was on him. The he nigga didn't go feet. nowhere, bro. It didn't no, work. He wasn't going nowhere. He Bruno was on him. He wasn't like he was okay, just That's when Middleton, Middleton was cooking. Uh, Matt, right, so I got a question. Matt, that's when Middleton was cooking. I got a question for y'all. Right, so, Middleton whatever. played what the last five minutes of the fourth quarter? Middleton like was that. cooking. When no, 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 was no. Wesley Matthews. Wesley Matthews played what the last five minutes of the quarter of the fourth quarter? No, five, but four, five, something like that. Okay. Giannis already had thirty-one at the end of the at the end of three quarters, so he only yeah. scored another five points. But guess on what? Wesley Matthews, that y'all talking about? So I don't understand why that was why is that the focus and not. Patrick Beverly going to the lane twice unguarded. You, this free free layup to the rim. I know y'all saw that. But yes, we that. did. You want to know that? You want to know why Matt? You know what? That's, you know after he, that's when he put in Wesley Matthews and Clint Capella. But he you know also coach saw did that. Go ahead, Matt, you know what your coach did? Your coach turned the perfect timeout that even Doc Rivers didn't do. He literally killed the momentum of the game. He literally killed the momentum of the game. <laughs> he <laughs> called a perfect timeout. With three said, timeouts left, he, he called, called a timeout to stop the Hawks for coming back. That's what your coach did. That's what your coach After that Bruno Falero, is that what he's talking about? Falero? That, 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 that Bruno and, pa and Patrick Beverly Falero? No, they about? didn't. He didn't take them out after that. I'm talking about when Bruno got subbed out for Wesley Matthews and uh, Clint Capella. Oh, coach man. called a timeout. He stopped the momentum. That's your dumb ass. Not I mine. mean, I, I I have to go back there. That's your, that's your yeah, quote. I have to go back and look. I don't. I, I have to go back and look. That's he, all right, man. I don't know. I, I don't know why he called time. Maybe he called a timeout to yeah. give. Maybe he called a timeout to give him a little bit of. Maybe uh, he didn't like, want to use him at um, the strokers. I don't know. Maybe he didn't want to <laughs> use him at strokers. I, <laughs> may, know. May, may, I know why, Matt. Trying to give him a breather in the last four minutes. No, he had. Uh, he mm -hmm. took the under on Bruno. Yeah, he had. Oh, oh, yeah, he said, How many Bruno got? He got 10. Oh, that nigga was way under. He about to cost me some money. Come out the so, game, bro. Oh, okay. Come so on. Bruno played well in the fourth quarter. I don't quarter. understand. I'll, I'll, give, I'll give you that. He played okay, well in yeah. the fourth quarter. But, like I said, how bad did John say play? If y'all are fixated it on to taking Bruno out for Wesley Matthews, that don't make sense to me because, like I said, Giannis only had five points. Whole when he quarter. took Bruno out, how, how much were we down by? Giannis right. had five crucial points. So they when took he took Bruno, Bruno out. out, we was down five. As soon as he took and, Bruno out, you know out, what happened, Matt? Once he took him out, immediately went on the six nothing run. Sitting there in the lane because Clint but, the but, fella can't do but anything. Yana, Yana, yes, one was a three point play by Giannis, but the next one was a kick out three. Who was the three point two. play? Who was guarding Giannis on the three point was play? Pat Covington was it? Pat Covington, Matt, or was Who it, was guarding Giannis on the three point play? The three offensive rebounds after that. It was Wesley Matthews. Right. No, and then um, Malik Beasley made two. Malik Beasley. Made okay. three. Like I said, DeMar, he had so they 30. They passed it out. They got the before offensive Wesley rebounds. Matthews, my ever, point is, before Wesley my point is this. Checked in, he rebounds. already had 31. My point is this. My point is this. Okay. I don't care what Giannis had. The fact is we, was on, we had the momentum and we cut the lead to five. When he goes and makes that substitution, I said, and if you watch me on the watch along, I said, Quinn, do not take Bruno 
out the game. And he did. But you know what Quinn did? And he did, he been doing this the whole year. Robots in. He spot. goes back to the starters, except for some reason, he thought it was smart to go with the starters minus length and Vic. And I'm put right in, now, uh, uh, right, yeah. If I say put, right now, in clutch yeah. and clutch, and goal put time, in Avery and Wesley, Wesley, Wesley Matthews. Wesley right now. That made no look, sense. Because what did look, what look. did the Bucks do? They immediately went to that mismatch. Immediately, well, Krejci was, was awful tonight. Oh, no. Middleton and Giannis, he was terrible. But at least he gives you some length. You had nothing. With, look, did Matt, you see Matt, what Wesley Matt, Matthews Matt. did? You did you see the foul he did on Giannis for the three point play? How is that different? Demond, how is what that was different? The, Matt, 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 watch this. What was the foul that Matthews did on, on Giannis? Yeah, that was a horrible foul. Who went like this? Demond, no, he bumped, he bumped him. He bumped his lower body after he Giannis already him. made his move. Demond, like, Demond, how is that? Demond, how is that different from the man. other defensive plays that gave up thirty one points to three quarters? Quinn Snyder, in my opinion, tonight, he played oh NBA God. politics with those substitutes. Hey, hey, hold on real quick, though, because, you know, I got I to gotta fight for my dog now, though, man. He should have – go ahead, Mike. He, he ain't played play horrible. He didn't no, play he did. defensively. Defensively, defensively. Man, he, man, look, all, defense, those, no all those shots were no. contested. He made tough shots over there. That's, that's what I'm about to say. No Every one last one of that's they what it is. Like, number one, Vit is not a known defender to even begin with. We don't even claim that he's a defensive stopper like Dre supposed to have a defensive label. So no. Vit even being talked about as a defensive person that we're looking to is a freaking win for Vit's career to even begin. Can we go bro. back and look at the game? I promise you, there was a hand in Clint in Chris. I'm, I'm just face. saying, Every Matt, time. Matt, you acting like, like you. Tough shot. Bro, bro, where, where on Vic's, like, any of his scouting reports, anything about Vic, it says that he's a defender. Like, like this is Y'all all... told me this. Y'all bro, told me what? this. But, no, 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 no. I'm telling you. That's what I'm saying. Chris Middleton made so many tough shots. They made there. tough shots. And it was contested. Be... It was never the time that Vic just stood there and he was out of position and Chris Middleton hit the shot. How Go many back. fouls he had? How many fouls he had? Say, offensive, Vic, how many fouls he had? Offensive-wise, Vic played straight, too, though. Oh, he just say, like, just of course, five. he don't shoot a whole lot, bro. But dude was 60% from the field, 50 from mm -hmm. 50 from three. He mm -hmm. shot four attempts for you. You claim think, that he Mike, Mike, I'm not Mike, Mike, for the first time, I'm not focusing on offense. We're talking about I know, Matt, because this is what you do, Matt. No, no, this is what you do. You focus on, you, you literally make sure you find the absolute wrong when it comes to certain players, bro. If you ain't deem a guy as a Matt guy, you're going to go search out his wrong. Like you do with DJ consistently. If DJ have 40 points, you're going to go find something within his game. And, I mean, and 44 shots is thing. ridiculous, like right? Tonight, like tonight, 15 shot attempts in the first half. That's bad. Four it shot is. attempts in the second it half. We right? actually and the ball moves the better. Half, and he was, what, two assists and or something like that from a triple-double, though? Mike, the ball saying? moved better in the second half, didn't it? Okay. Didn't we have? Okay. okay. But also, but acknowledge, though, say that. Why the, the ball moved better in the first Because he half stopped shooting. The second half. Okay, well then, just knowledge that it came down, that it came down, whether he got stopped or it came down. But outside of that, though, Matt, that's the whole thing, though. You still have to be a player to try to impact the game. Okay, you're not shooting well. You shot too many attempts in the first half. Okay, you come down on it, you break it. But the dude was literally what? It was two-something away from a triple-double, two assists or two rebounds, one or the other. But he almost had a triple-double, bro. That Mike, that get Mike, that deserves a bad a shooting clap. triple double. That does, Mike, Mike, that it. deserves a hand clap. I mean, it's a bad also, shooting triple double. I get it, but it's still it like two rebounds like, off. It was two rebounds off. Mike, I got you on the triple double. Mike, Mike, I got you on the triple double. Mike, but a bad he, shooting he, night he with like not contributing he anywhere else, third, but only like five half? assists and like four rebounds, bro, would be worth for. But bro, he rebounded with us, bro. Like, ain't it? We zero field goes in the in the second half, Mike. Huh? You Zero field goes in the second half. Yeah, that, that didn't help. That didn't help. I agree with you, bro. I agree with you. Oh, All I'm saying is that I'm not going to just sit here and pick one bad and focus on the bad. Even with Trey, no, no, no. bro, I don't do that crap. With I Krejci, say we do good. With, with Krejci, the reason that I talked about his defense is because I heard repeatedly 
that his defense was very good, was pretty – not very good, pretty good. His defense was pretty good. He had an impact on Tatum, blah, blah, blah. His defense was, you know, was, 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 was what y'all were focusing on. So I said, okay, well, like Gerald, right? I'm talking to Gerald. His is defense it? is surprisingly good. His defense so is surprisingly good, good. And, and Mike, you can't he's deny that. Defense is better than his six, Mike, he's six, he's six foot eight, 200 plus pounds. Why? You know, so he's he's six, should seven, be able to eight, guard Chris Middleton. He should be able to guard Chris – they're the same height. Him and Middleton's yeah, the same height. height. Yeah, exactly. They're, they're exactly. the same. Little 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 shot. But didn't Larry explain to you, bro? Did you not watch the shots that Chris hit? Like, was Chris just literally losing him completely? And no. it was way over here while Chris was just going open to the hole. Literally, the hand was in his face every time, and he was just making okay. So, cont- okay, so contest. Oh, yeah, Mary. So, uh, why, let me why say something so- real quick. Let me say something real quick. Oh, I, I don't, I don't know why you're arguing about an All NBA player being able to score uh, contested shots. Exactly. I mean, Trey does it all the time. Trey is, is 5'11", and everybody who faces him should be able to stop him, but they can't. But they can't. But they can't. So, because he's an all-NBA player. This dude right here, man. It, it it doesn't it doesn't make sense. Well, it doesn't make let, sense. Okay, all right. Okay, let me let, let, let me give you the back reason. Let me give you the so you you don't you must not know the backstory. So you got you the, you, the you back got a the backstory. Player, you got a two way player that you expect to shut the, down an all no, NBA player. I, no, 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 like no, 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 and a player like Vet Krejci is energy and effort. So energy and effort and studying the game, knowing the player tendencies, except now we don't know Mike. Now we lost. That, that's oh, what we oh, talked oh, about. This is, where you, this, bro, this is where I question your comprehension. Are you, are you, you literally said that I said the only not thing. You, not, 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 not specifically you. I'm just saying that the conversation has, has been had before that you've been a part of. You've been a party to the conversations. Before, say the only difference, man. Thing, no, I didn't say only. I said one of them. One of the same difference. Thing, one of the main differences is energy. Something different. Matt, Matt. Right. Oh, go ahead. No, it's go different. Ahead, now you're telling me it's different. Now you're telling me talent actually matters. Let me just get this in. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Let me get this in. Why did our coach call a timeout when we had momentum and we were down by five, and then he switched out the players that gave us momentum? How do you call a timeout in the fourth quarter and take Bruno out, who has been the catalyst for the comeback? What was that about? I I, I didn't understand the coaching call there. I, I understand that you you have your guys, but at some point, the end game coaching, you you have to understand that if you got momentum, you keep you momentum. Rock with, you got to rock with. If I'm a yeah. man, I'm a I mean, I, I think I so his the fact that he had 31 points through three quarters didn't mean anything. That who had 31 points? We're talking about time, yes. space, and moment. Man. That's all we're talking about. Time, space. So okay, so moment. so during the fourth quarter, did did Bruno? I know that one play y'all referencing, but did y- did Bruno really stop Giannis in the fourth quarter, or they didn't go to him in the fourth quarter? It just slow until later. Down. Once you take look. Once Bruno drive it to the basket, making basket, mm-hmm. they grabbing him. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I think the double technical was BS. He didn't touch him. He just yelled. Giannis, when he dunked on Wesley Matthews, yelled at him and then said, hold up. Right. But he did. He didn't get a technical. They, they so, again, him. man. So, the again, reason, man. Bruno got a tech because uh, Patrick pushed him. That's yeah, Patrick, so they had Patrick pushed Patrick him. Was pushing him. No, like, and, and he should have been, been out of the game. game. See, that's what Just I'm saying, man. Like, that's why I said but, Coach no, the refs, the refs, the refs, the refs cheated the referees us right after that, Larry. You saw that though, right? Yeah. Right yeah. after that, yeah. the refs got overly sensitive yeah. and started blowing every single tic tac right, right. that we took every single time we touched the bucks, they blew the whistle right. immediately after that. And they contributed to also making sure that they took away our momentum. They were like, oh no, yeah. they getting too physical. They Coach done it and, they got it. and then the that's refs finished happened. it off. Like that's why but, I but Larry, but Larry, but Larry, I'm okay. but Larry, I'm asking you about. The, since the emphasis on Bruno, Bruno playing, Bruno coming out the game, I'm asking you: Do, do you, in your opinion, do you think yeah. he played an excellent defense or a very good defensive job on 
Giannis enough to warrant him staying in the game? I think he played good enough defense um, to warrant staying in the game. Like Giannis was doing what he did. I mean, he had more free throws. He had two less free throws in that whole team. Okay. So mm -hmm. when I say that, if you take and stop the game, do a timeout, take out somebody who was energizing the team, was being an irritant to the other team, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, momentum is a real thing, especially for the Hawks at home. You've seen it this past week. How they played against the Celtics. If you're saying it, you were saying that it's not trans, um, it's not transferable. You know what I'm saying? Like, is this game transferable? Is this effort transferable? Are we just playing above our heads, right? That's what you were saying earlier this week, right? Okay, so if you are the coach and you take that momentum away, okay, mm -hmm. one thing you mm -hmm. didn't do in that 30-point lead is do a stupid substitution. If you're in the middle of that run, let the run happen. Bruno's young. Why does it say at this time, at this point in the game, I have to put in um, Clint Capella? And why am I putting in Wesley Matthews, man? You still have well, answered that. Like, like, I said, Matthews, like, like I said, Larry, Larry, one about, like I said, I really think he put in Capella for the rebounding factor. They had a double big line about there. And I thought he put yeah, Capella in. Okay, I understand that. I understand that. So well, in well, his press conference, but question. in his press conference, he said they were big. But he I got to ask this question, Larry. How many players did we have available tonight? How many players did we have available? Uh, Nine or so. Let me see. Let me go to it right now. Because I got, I still got the stats. A little more than seven. And while, oh, he's, no, trying yeah. that, while he's trying oh, no. to get that, the second answer is the question. After we had um, because nah. I saw nah. I saw AJ on the bench. Nah, no, no, no. Ten, no, ten players played tonight, Larry. Unless I just counted wrong, but ten played. Oh no, no, ten. My bad. Yeah, ten did play. So we had ten players active and ten played. Yeah, ten um, played. If play tonight. Hmm. If you count play. Trick and Dylan minutes, ten yeah, yeah, total my bad. played. I, I just ten yeah, total played. But how many did we have available? I mean, do we no, have no. more than ten available? No, I think everybody available. that was available played. Yeah, everybody uh, available yeah. play. I think okay. everybody available play. Yeah, see, see, that may be the reason that Wesley Matthews was on the floor. You you didn't have nothing else to put out there. And see, did did you know? Um, they only had I, three fouls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and see, now I I, I got to go go along with Mike was saying earlier. You should have had Capella. And doggone Bruno out there on that flow with all of that size that Milwaukee had out there and just beat them jokers up until you foul somebody out, until somebody fouled out. You know. So so, so who's sitting so so John, who's sitting on the bench? Is it is it Dre or or, or, or Krejci? Which one's sitting on the bench? Wesley Matthews, Matthews is sitting wife, on the bench. No, if I got if I got Bruno, if I have Bruno, if I have Bruno and Capella. With mm -hmm. Trey, I mean with uh with DJ and Bogey, who's my three? DJ Bogey and Dre. DJ Bogey, Dre. Yeah, Bruno, I, I Dre. just said who's on the bench, Dre or or, or Craig? Crepsy. Crepsy. If it is on the uh, 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 I mean, you have you have the whole there. question here has been you Wesley. Have Dre Dre was on there. the floor. We're not questioning Dre. It's Wesley. But see what I'm, all, I mean, I'm saying. Y'all said they should have went to that double big lineup more. I'm saying yeah. who's supposed to be on the bench. Yes. How many fouls? How many fouls did the big guys have? The big guys, what well, say, uh Bruno and Clint. Clint had, Clint had three. Clint had two. Bruno got four. My bad, two. Yeah, Clint had two. Bruno had four. I mean, I feel like Bruno should have fouled out, bro. Like, if anything. Like, yeah, just, yeah, I mean, yeah. Foul, the way yeah. he deserved it. Like he was playing. I, mean, well. I, I, I just don't I, I just don't I just don't see where okay. Bruno was it's so Great defensively, where it, he should have been. No, 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 not necessarily. See, this is this is the thing, this is the thing, and this is what people do. They we we analyze too much about what's going to happen instead of putting that man out there and seeing what happens. Exactly. He need he needed to be out there, he needed to be out there because see, they they had us. As far as rebounding were concerned, with that itty bitty lineup we had out there, and you substituting Clint 
putting Bruno in, substituting Bruno, putting Clint in, just going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And on <laughs> on offense, on offense, these jokers wasn't doing nothing because see, and and, and I I have to. Uh, uh, let's hold back. I have to hold back because I know this is the best that we got right now. Yeah. But I, you know, I have to. I have to say again, you need scoring bigs out there. Clint Capella is not it. Bruno is not it. Because hey, but look, no. Hey, hey, hold on, hold on, Mike. Before Bruno, you know, Bruno, say Bruno, let me say this. Let me say this. Let me say this. Let me say this. See, the thing is that I notice all the time that we play the Bucks. every time we play the Bucks, the things that I notice is that whoever is center, playing center, and power forward, when we have the ball, they just sag back and wait. One of them sag back and wait in the lane for anything that's coming in the lane because they do not have anybody to check. They don't have anybody to check because Bruno is not an offensive threat. Clint Capella is not an offensive threat. Hey, John. And Bruno, Bruno get him many tonight. floaters, and he just hit a jumper. He was hot tonight. Hot. Tonight, hot tonight. Lopez, Brooke Lopez, in that fourth quarter, play they played, they played so far. Bruno, he just shot it mid range, yeah. got it. Yeah, and guess what? And the coach did. Guess what the coach did immediately? Took him out the game. Took him out the game. Well, see, I don't know. Was that punishment? No, no, I mean, no. no, no, no Y'all no, also, like, believe it. But, also, what the hell you shoot that for? And he didn't believe it. Why you make that? Y'all also, also are taking into y'all also are taking into account in the fourth quarter. But, the offense had very little rhythm to it. Bogey hit some crazy shots. What you mean? We, I, we, walked them, we, was, we walked them down in the fourth I'm quarter. Out, I'm out. Hey, no, but look, yeah, I yeah, said Bogey. I said Bogey hit some crazy threes. Bogey no, he didn't hit nothing board. crazy here. Even no bogey, bogey, crazy threes was most or during the time period that I felt like we already lost, bro. Like bogey was hitting like just some threes to kind of like keep the jump. Like and during my opinion, oh, yeah, during that stretch, straight, I felt we already easy. lost. But bogey was doing some crap, yeah, bro. I'm yeah. like, bro, it's not enough yeah. time. Like, yeah. like we had already lost it, bro. Like because yeah, of that point, decision taking Bruno out. Yeah. 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 I don't see how you can argue. I don't see how you can argue about. I don't see how you can argue about uh, uh, any type of rhythm when we were down by fourteen, and when you took them out, we were down by five. Exactly. Keep them in. Exactly. Keep them in. We, made, we, made, we made a nine-point difference with him in the game, regardless of how it happened. He was in the game. We made nine good. points up, regardless of how it happened. That's, that's, say, look that's at, the rhythm that you want. You want the rhythm where you keep going so that you can see if you can overtake them. But instead, I mean, you take I, them out. I, I'm looking at the numbers, and the, the, and, and that's something. The numbers, this, the this, numbers this, say we, we, didn't, we didn't we didn't play well. The, why, see, that, that, what does that have to do with us cutting that lead down to five and him taking the dude? Who Matt, got because, because in Matt the game, looking at numbers too much, bro. The only Matt, one playing with aggression. Much, that that what you said, Matt. Them numbers don't have nothing to do with nothing. Quinn, Matt, looking at Quinn too Snyder much, took him out, and at first I was like, you know what? Maybe he's trying to give him a quick breather. He don't never he put Clint, let me tell you what happened. He put Clint in the game. He put Matthews in the game. You just sat there and said, "Well, what about when Pat Beverly got that wide open drive? Yeah, that was after Bruno came out. That was Clint Capella right there." Okay, yeah, it was. he was flat footed. As soon as he came out the game, right. they went on a six nothing run. Yep. Six nothing run. As soon as he came out, you cannot sit here and tell me, well, I'm looking at the numbers. Now I need you to go back. You need to watch the game, bro. That's what I'm saying, man. I, 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 I watched it. You I watched how many times. You were better job of mixing the numbers in. I saw. I watched how many times Dre struggled to get to the rim. I saw how many times DJ struggled to get to the rim, and our offense was mostly centered around the perimeter with very did little we, space. Did we cut that lead to five, man? Where Quinn ball at? Though? Yes or no? Did we cut the lead to five? What is the point? Everything you saying, man. Everything you saying, it don't really matter, because that was before that. All that led up to us cutting the lead to five. Oh, yeah. So hey, Matt, all that stuff you saying, well, he struggled. It don't matter. We Matt got just to like he think what matters I is think, look, what happened after we cut that lead to five. He took out the person who was who 
got the crowd back in the game. He got the players back focused on the game with his emotions. He's our most physical big on top of everything, too. Any yeah. type of physicality in the He's lane. He's our field. physical oh, big. We all agree on that. And the yeah. coach thought it was smart to take him out and put in a worse player offensively and tonight defensively. Then he, DeMond, then, DeMond, DeMond, don't, he can't DeMond, go don't to a press that? conference, complain about size, and take out Bruno. Yeah, and take out Bruno. Bruno. How you going to do that? We could have we could have been big. We could have been big with Dre, Bruno, and Clint. Yeah, he could have ran that. He chose that. But again, though, Matt, you keep thinking about offense. In my opinion, bro, I don't mind winning an ugly game. Like I feel like, bro, down that stretch, ugly this whole up. Then yeah. and we and I don't care if, if if both teams only score five points down the stretch. I don't care as long as we win it. You feel me? But my hey, Matt. Bro, like, it don't have to be pretty. Hey Matt, you know what? My when mod they got, is. Uh, when they made that run to get it down to five. Giannis and Lopez then wasn't on the floor. My mod. They That's what big- I was thinking, but okay, Yo, I didn't want Matt. to say nothing before I watched it, rewatched it. Hey, I'm watching it now. I'm looking at it now. Oh, okay. I'm looking at the, the replay. On, they ain't on there on yet. The floor. They had the bench on the floor. Then okay, it makes more sense. That, it makes more sense now. Then what happened? Then what happened when they made the run? Then I don't when, know when the when, play when came, Buck called, when Bucks when they got it down the five, the Bucks called a timeout. Then they brought Giannis them back on. But here's the thing. The floor, so okay, okay. okay. Like, it, it makes sense. It makes sense now. It makes and sense. Look for then, they, then they make the funny thing is, is and then they took them out the floor once Giannis them started making a run. That makes sense. I'm asking y'all. Can I? I'm gonna ask y'all this though, because I hear what you're saying, Kool Aid, but I saw it with my own eyes. I ain't got numbers for nobody. I want y'all to look out for it, but I saw a dribble drive attempt by Giannis from the top of the perimeter, from the top of the key, on Bruno, and Bruno cut him off on both ways. His attempt oh, yeah, I saw that. He was the ball over. Back. So what I'm saying, what my eyes, What's going on, fellas? Bruno had to at least play him. Y'all know like, I wasn't going like, to turn down a chance play. to get in this chat with y'all tonight, right? Bro, that's just one play because that's the one play you I have in my mind to bring back for. That's all it is. Guys, my mind. I, 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 I plead the fifth on that, John. Mike, 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 Mike. He had thirty-one points through three. He had thirty. What does that have to do with us cutting the lead to Matt? Having you out your own mouth talking about timely stops, Matt. You've yep, talked about time said. to stop your own self. But that's again, though, said. Bruno is not going to keep no MVP and no champion, doggone, from 31 points. But at the same time, though, timely stop, stop that. Before? He got a time. I just gave you an example of a timely stop that led to a One. turnover, nigga. I just gave you an example. One. You One. Me he couldn't do it more. One. But, bro, the coach didn't allow him to get more opportunities to do more than that. I could tell you another one, Matt. Um What's your boy, Bobby Portis, was running out on the break. They just got a stop that was run out. And Bruno straight ran him down and cut him off for going to the layup. Now, last time he did that, um, he got the ball and went up and just laid it up over somebody. So, again, there's another example. But my thing is this, man. When I got um, Milwaukee fans and Wisconsin fans in my chat thanking um, Coach Quinn for <laughs> for calling the timeout, I don't know why you can't see it. They were like, thank but, 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 you the but real Larry, MVP. But Larry, but Larry, on the telecast, they kept mentioning, even on our telecast, Rob and them kept mentioning how tired they looked. How shot the shots were short, they looked tired, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, they were they talking. mentioned it every, every every other possession. Okay, man. I'm, they were talking about that that they uh, were looking so, tired. So maybe see, he called a timeout because he thought they would look gas. But see, my know. problem is I'm paying well, y'all well, too much damn money to be tired. Yeah, then we ain't played last night. I'm paying y'all too much Bingo. money. I'm Bingo. paying too much money. I'm just saying, that was, that, that, that was something y'all. that Bob got him back to back. Lamenting. Like they, they, were, they were tired. Well, let's just call it, man, let's just call the shit for what it is, dog. These jokers won four out of five, right? Against one of the best teams in the league. They beat them twice this week with Boston. That's right. They lose to Milwaukee. They end up winning these other games. Now, I, you know, as much as I hate to admit it, you know, there's a guy in the chat by the name of Carl Thomas. You know, he's always emotional, just like the singer is. But I got to give him, I got to give him his respect. He actually said what the problem was is if we're ever up on a team or we're actually making a run, Quinn kills the momentum. Now, Carl Thomas said that teams that are championship teams do not kill the momentum 
and you don't stop going to the hot hand. Period. You just don't do it. Bruno, Bruno was killing it tonight. Period. The yeah, man was a spark man. plug tonight. The man defensively, I mean, he wasn't stopping Giannis, but when it was time to slow him down, he started to slow him down before he got pulled. Everybody saw that. And he wasn't backing down. Period. He did not back down. He played with an edge, had a little bit of he showed some toughness and he showed some heart. Now, you know, DJ was cold in the second half. I'm not gonna sit here and act like he wasn't. It was a mediocre second half for DJ. I call a spade a spade. But you know, DJ's carried it the last couple of games. That's something you can't take away from him. Right. But at the end of the day, we did not get it done. It's a it's it's all the way around. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I'm gonna call it for what it is. We didn't get it done. Quinn cost yeah. us tonight yeah. by taking that hot hand out. I'm sorry. You don't take away the guy who was literally the spark plug and was literally eating in the paint. You know, Clint Capella tonight. I'm not gonna sit there and I'm not gonna sit there and give him no praises tonight because yeah. let's keep it real, dog. Clint was getting abused. Time out, man. Time out. I I, I wanted to give Clint a shout out, right? Because really, at the time that he did it, I thought it was a big bucket. But, you know, Quinn screwed us over, though. But But, I'm uh, not just going off one bucket. I'm talking about the whole time. Because he was getting But No, I just want to shout him out, though, because Clint sucks offensively. (laughs) I just have to (laughs) shout, shout him out. Because as somebody, as myself, who plays in the post or, 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 you know, I mean, I ain't tall as him or something like that, but around your average folks, but I, you know, I have to play in the post stuff like that. I can't even do this crap. The man yeah. made a, he made a left-handed jump hook. Like, like, bro, I was impressed. I was like, good. I'm like, Clint, bro, I can't even make a little, I'm like, I'm not but, comfortable to take that. That's what hey, I don't hey, hey, Mike, Matt, 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 now, now, Matt I want to hear Matt's I mean, explanation right on this it's real quick. It's not easy, man. It's pretty now, easy. Now, I, I want to hear Matt's explanation on this right here, y'all. I, no, Matt, Mike, let me ask Matt this question, dog. Because you was cooking before I got on here. I want to hear what Matt got to say about this because it, it, depending it, it, on burning. how he answers this question depends on his fate with me tonight. I'm just going to let you know that now. So I'm already, I'm already, I done got out of the streets. I done had a couple of shots of tequila, fooling around with these Philadelphia Phillies fans that was pissed off about how the Braves violated them today, which we loved. Yes, sir. And yeah, the I problem is now they wanted to bring up, oh, well, your Hawks got your ass, y'all asses kicked. I said, okay, but we still put foots in your ass today. But now let's get to oh, it. Oh, them juggles going after low-hanging fruit. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but Matt, this is my question I got for you today, bro. And you, 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 you pretty much determine the the way that this conversation is gonna go. Why in the hell does Quinn call timeouts when momentum is going for us? He'll stop it, but when we need to stop momentum for other teams, he does not do that. He ceased to amaze me with the left side of his brain when it comes to that. As much as I love my Georgia Bulldogs, Kirby Smart did the same shit before he started winning championships. Let's just be real. It seems like before coaches win big games, they start making, they start screwing up. Now, the question is, you, you're you talking about the whole situation of give Landry time and all this here. Why in the hell doesn't anybody call Quinn out on this when he stops momentum when we have it going, but he won't stop it for other teams when it's starting to avalanche on us? She Larry was talking about. It. They mean why Matt don't? I mean, I mean, I, I don't. I just I, came I in, Mike. I don't know. I don't know. If that's no, a, Larry, Larry, Larry was upset about that. Larry, Larry was. I mean, I'm I sorry, Larry. I didn't, I didn't mean to steal your thunder. I didn't even know. I, I didn't even know, bro. I just stepped in. And I, 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 I didn't even know. But you asked him. Matt, 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 haven't explained it or nothing like that. He just he quiet in those parts. I mean, I haven't, I haven't noticed it enough where it's a pattern where it stuck out to me. Um. While I mean yes, on why he doesn't call timeouts for the other team, a lot of that is because it's so much about playing in rhythm, playing you know quick, making quick hey, hold decisions, up, hold up, hold playing up. in rhythm. Too late, too late. You watching yeah. the game right now, right? I watching it right now. Die, die by the three. Okay, by the three. Hey, hey, Kool Aid, you watching the game right now? I'm watching the game right now. 
Okay, you and Larry. Right now. Okay, watch and see what Quinn is doing according to what Brian's question is. Because see, the thing is, is I that can tell you, we, Coach Quinn would never use more than two timeouts in a half in the first that's half. What I, that's what I'm saying. Y'all said he never used timeouts. He would he never use, use more like than two. Up. He will never no, I mean, watch that. But the do question you is, really do he not stop use momentum? Time. That's the but question. Matt, Matt, listen to what Larry's saying, man. Stop Look, being man. extreme, bro. He's just I, telling you. He's telling you that he called timeouts, but it ain't going to be more than two and a half. Look, at halftime, I just told you, a lot of guys playing through. Guys playing through. Quinn got, got, got a coach. Quinn got a coach. You have a time. Do y'all not understand? Quinn is not that good. He only no, I mean, went he, by his team shooting the three. He you win by the three or die by the three. They wasn't shooting the three tonight. G Matthew won shooting the three. DJ won shooting the three. If we shot the three this better in the first the half, we win this game. Because that first well, half, you know, the second half. Exactly. So he won the second half by eight points. And guess what? And guess what? And I'm gonna tell you on the other side, DJ on the other that, side, on the other side, we didn't get blowed out because they didn't shoot the three. Beasley shot bad. If Beasley shot his normal shooting, we would have got blowed out. You think so? so? They, yeah, yeah. They were leaving Beasley wide open. Then that would have changed the whole inside outside game. Hmm. So, so in actuality, we lost this game in the first half. Like I always say, well, you got to look at the whole totality. You to look at the whole totality of the game. Mm -hmm. And when you, when Coach can't live, when that, when this coach can't live off the way he coached by the three. Same thing with the Celtics. They were talking about the same thing with the Celtics. He the Celtics that. is a live by the three team or die by the three team. Right about that. Like, so you and and they too late. Better you are, too late, but you, you got to admit this too. Point. The other thing that killed that. us in this ball game was damn turnovers. That was the other thing that killed us too. Oh, yeah, but they, but they, were, they were playing defense though. They was course, even, defense. even if they playing defense, but you know they were still getting points in transition. That was what right, else killed right. us tonight. Who the turnovers come off with? The turnovers come off of us. Yeah, Trent Forrest. Right, with Trent, so, so. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna call him Trent Forrest. That's Trent Forass, A S S. That's what I call him, Trent Forass, because hey, he damn sure playing like two right Blame now. Trent, blame, blame hey. Trent on Landry. Hey, I'm hey, no, that, I am. Yeah, that's I'm that's blaming that's Trent that's on Landry because that's a Landry, problem. Landry no, is a bad it. manager. Let me tell you something, man. Quinn, Quinn, Quinn told him to do that. <laughs> yeah. Hey, get on Landry, bro. Up, hey, Quinn, told, <laughs> Quinn been trying to find minutes for Trent for the longest, bro. I don't know how yeah, Trent but, played but, over but, my boy. Let me tell you something, man. I don't understand the love of Trent started with Nate McMillan. I don't understand <laughs> that Trent far as love, man. Yeah, I don't. I thought he would have been gone. I thought he would been gone when Trent when when Nate got fired. I thought he was going to even go out the door with Nate, but he's, 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 a, he's, a, he's a pretty good defensive guard. He's a good defensive guard. Like, that's, 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 that's the only thing, though. It's like, you know, he's, 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 he's a pretty good defensive guard. He is. is. I'm finna. I'm finna. I'm finna. Go ahead, Kool Aid. Kool Aid. I'm going to tell you a better defender than Trent. DeLon Wright? Oh. No, not. I'm going to tell you who a better defender than DeLon Wright. Cam Reddish. I, no lies on that, bro. No oh, lies. Man, you, wise, you, yeah, know, you know that you know in that in that Laker, you know in that LA Clipper game that they put Cam on 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 your boy, mm -hmm. and, and Cam Cam slowed him down. You know in that championship oh, game they wanted to play in, they put Cam one on one to pick him up the whole game. Halliburton and he shut Cam him down. Cam ain't here. That ain't the point. I'm, I'm, I'm just making a point, man. No, DeBron, I know what he was saying point. is we, we pretty much gave up one well, of our best That's what he was saying. Reddish, hey, that like, what's the, what's the point? That is a better Reddish. defender out there than Trent. That nigga. So, 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 so <laughs> why <laughs> he asked me. He is a better defender than Trent. Why do we have Trent? Why do we got Trent? I don't want to say that. The reason they kept Trent. Let me address that. The reason they kept Trent is because we don't have a third point guard. That's no, why no. we do have a third point We have John. We no. have John. Did y'all? John is down there in the G League. No, no, no. no. Our third, third, third point guard, guard is playing now. Our third you, point guard played thirty plus minutes tonight. You didn't have Vic. Vic didn't yeah. get here yet, Mike. Vic. Can I address Kool Aid, please? Yet. 
Well, he was working at he was working he was working in Lowe's. Vic wasn't here yet. What happened no, was, but, te- oh, but technically, man, that's, how you, was, hey, that's what, how you know what that's how you know what happened. What happened was, was, what happened was, what happened was <laughs> the reason the <laughs> reason Vic cool, is please. here. The reason Just Vic me. is here is because they gave uh force. Remember they you I, and I don't know why the fuck he did did this. Quinn Snyder he used all fifty games up on Trent Force. So they yeah. had to give Trent Force an NBA contract because Trent was on the two way. When they gave mm-hmm. Trent the two way, you know, then they when they got uh, then Vic was here. I mean, when they yeah. gave the NBA contract, no, Vic, Vic Vic took took my on the two way. Hold on, Vic let me took my Norris two way contract. They took my, mm-hmm. Yeah, they That's made cool. Norris. Vic was already, on, man, Vic was already right. on the bench with a messed up Vic shoulder. Took my took. Norris deal but, and gave I'm it to Vic. Because Besides, we were short though. cards. But Vic should have never been gone from this franchise. I've been saying what? he your third point guard. Y'all know me for since well, I tell you, he I tell you like this, to the man, franchise. I'll tell, like uh, tell you like this. They going to have to cut somebody. Because right now, Vic can't even play in the playoffs. Yeah, he can't even play the playoffs. And that's wild. They going to have to cut. And I wow. said, all man. they got to do is cut. They need to go cut Sadiq Bay. Bro, you know, if they, anyway. You can already paid the salary him? for the year. He can out for the season. Him? Yeah, they can cut him. He already been paid. Oh, I mean, I don't know. I'm just, yeah, yeah I'm they good. can cut him. You cut him, right? Because you need bodies. Why? Because they was talking about mm-hmm. cutting Trent. I was like, why would you cut a healthy player when you got a guy on your roster who can't pull out for the season? He out. No, did you read? Know, Demond, did you read? Did you read the CBA? I almost want to cut Trent still over. Hey, Mike. Got it, Matt. What? Hey, Mike. You want Vic? Well, don't we gotta, I want don't, my don't we gotta take his hard cap? Take Vic and put him, him in Trent place where he can play that guard spot. And I, then, I that, that, come on, Mike. Hey, Mike, his let Trent start, his, his his play, his, play his normal spot in that guard oh, spot. You have a seven-seven guard, don't we? They can pass. Am I right? Yes. Am I right, Mike? Oh, you got Bring my boy, my Norris up. Get rid of Trent Fars and put him in his spot. Well, well he could be playing it don't that matter now field. because uh, Morris is playing it. My yeah, my Morris is on the boat. Your boy is on the boat. Right and you are still in the field. Field. And I'm not right. Over. And I'm there right, Mike. And I'm right. That's right. Mal too late. Mal Norris is done. <laughs> still next year, my guy. I understand he's done. I'm saying what should have been done. Well, last year he's not NBA ready yet. He's not NBA ready yet. You said that. You said that about Vic. And what now you gonna tell me my Norris ain't NBA I'm, 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 ready? So now you stand out about so now, man. Ain't ain't no NBA ready ready yet. I want to hear why. Ain't ready. Come on, man. <laughs> Give me that. No, let's 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 ready let's stuff. What is that? So hey, man. I want to hear why you say he's not NBA ready. Come on. Who cares? It's over with. It's nothing we can do. It's over with. Why are we wasting time on this guy? Listen, cut to the Give Vic an NBA contract so he can play in the playoffs. That, that's what I'm saying, Demar. Can we do? Demar, did you read the right CBA? Now. Can you do that? What about what about it? I thought I thought you had to. I thought hey, you chat you said you can't cut. Babe, I thought bro. you had to pay. I, I mean, thought you had to pay his cap. Sound hole. illegal though, but you, I mean, have well, I as, as, you have to take his cap hole as dead money next season. Who? Bay. The cap Bay. hole. <laughs> the cap hole. I'm saying, bro, it don't sound that easy though. The cap hole is just a placement marker. That's all it is. It's a placement. To, if, he's on the, as, if he's as a, if he's a, as, if he's look, 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 actually, look, look, he goes, but it's a placement. Not if you're meaning that you still got to pay him. It's a so placement we'll be another marker, country. right? Listen, the cap hole is a placement marker, right? So you could have a number there. He's he's not gonna sign for that. You're not gonna sign him for six million dollars a year, okay? It's just a cap hole. That's all it is. It's just a marker. It's nothing. He's a restricted free agent. You've paid ninety nine percent of his salary already. You're not gonna resign him because he already turned down the first offer you gave him beginning of the season. Cut the motherfucker, okay? I have to read. I have to read the CBA tomorrow. I, I, yeah, I could have yeah, sworn this. You have to pay if you cut plan. somebody what before the, the end of their contract. If you cut somebody before what? the end of their contract, you have to pay. The, their cap hold becomes. Hey, he's not. Problem? He's a free agent. You right? Well, what what about am I paying? What am I paying? Explain that to me. Somebody tell me how did Weller get signed? Man? Somebody, got to, somebody got to tell me. Please, somebody explain to me again. How in the heck did Weller get on this team? 
Please tell me how you had to go pull this dude out of somebody's head and and put a winner on this thing. Please tell me. And get I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you right now. We got a whole college park team. I got a homeboy. Listen, kool I got a homeboy who worked for the Hawks, and I asked him that, and he told me, you ready? I'm ready. Because that nigga got Hawks DNA. What is Hawks DNA? What the hell is that? Whatever land you say it is at the time. That, 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 that ought to be a If y'all remember, Kool-Aid, 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 you know what else you told me? Hey, Kool-Aid, Hey, they told me. Hey, we brought more. They told me. Hey, he was a, that the play is a diversity higher. Hey, well, DeMar, I'm about to put DeMar. Wait a minute, DeMar. DeMar. I'm about to put So, in other words, you speaking on, you said diversity high. Too. So, in other words, they just going to lose. That's all we hiring yeah, is losing. Yeah, you got to be kidding. Man. We got yeah. to gotta mix it up, man. Diversity high. You got to have two white So, guys. in other words, we bringing bums in. That's pretty much what you're trying to say. Man, I don't know where Ledger feels when they found this dude at, man. Again. We got a whole team of college But again, but again, Norris is a random mind. Norris is a force. Norris is a force. Before we move on, the problem with us cutting Bay is that we spent five second rounders on Bay. So if he's just the RFA, we could still use him as trade, use his trade value. Well, you got to sign and trade him. But here's the question. Who's going to take him now that he's got a busted knee? Now he got yeah, a blown yeah, ACL. Okay. Yeah, yeah. okay. Thank you. Now you might be able. I, listen. Somebody, somebody can use him on the team. Me personally, though. I'm moving on from Sadiq Bay. You offered him oh. a contract. If it was another, hey, you hey, offered Mary, him a contract at the beginning of the team. Out there, we he, he turned it down. He <laughs> turned it down. We took your right on. Nah, you stupid. He said he wanted to gamble and and, and and get paid. We offered him a contract. He said no. Cut the cut him. We go hey, to the hospital to sign up. up. Well, I feel bad. You ain't you getting the big back. I see you, you sign up. I ain't never seen that. Like, like, you you hey, 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 hold on. If you try Demar, to trade you... them, if you try, you're not going to get nothing in return. Why would they trade with you? If you, if, you add, if you add them in on the trade, you can use that trade value. You got to sign them first, Marion. You got to sign them. He's a free agent. You got to sign them first before you can trade them. But, but let me a, tell you something. He restricted, he restricted agent, free agent, right? right? He restricted. If I if I really wanted the guy, I don't even got to trade him. Because you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make an offer that, that you're not going to match. Period. I'm going to be like, how much should they offer you? They offer you five? I'll give you 10 million. The Hawks ain't going to match that shit. And now you're mm. going to come with me. I don't got to trade for you. But we offered Bay a contract, man, and he turned the shit down. Listen, I thank you for your service. Cut him. Get that I roster spot. Go baby, baby, hey, Demar, stop that, being so that, nice. Stop that, being so that, nice. Go back to what you were saying. You said cut the motherfucker, just how you said it. Keep because saying. Because you need the spot for the to get Vic in the I, playoffs. No, I agree with you. Really. I'm saying stop well, being nice. What we bring it back, Jalen? We getting healthy, so Vic ain't gonna play anyway. So if Vic ain't gonna play, then no need to do it. But well, what I, I really do think this team gonna I, look. I, like I believe that when everybody comes back healthy, Quinn's not gonna go back to his regular stuff, and all these guys you see playing now, they're not gonna get no play. Well, I don't think Bay gonna. I, I really don't think they are gonna sign Bay for real. Cause Why I mean they they already him? made the did, offer. Did, 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 and did, 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 did they pick like up his qualifying offer? What? Did like he, he they pick up his qualifying offer? Everybody does that. You, 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 that's, really, that's a formality. So that's just a formality. So you can match whatever offer he gets. It's a formality. I'm saying, yeah, yeah. I'm saying, I, I, okay, I could. Like I said, I have to go back. And read this listen, I, Matt, I thought the cap. I thought you have to listen, take the cap hole. Listen, if you cut a, a player, you have to take listen, the cap hole as dead money. Listen, he's a restricted free agent. So when the off season come, he has a cap hole. Every player has a cap hole. That's a free agent. This it's only a placement. That's I it. I know that demand, but that's if you let the contract expire. It's gonna expire. He's a, he's gonna be a but free agent. You cut him what are you talking about? Yeah, demand, but you're talking about cutting him before the contract expires. Cause you've already paid him his money. The cut him. Money. The capo is dead. Money. Low ball him. 
Who gives? Cut this this motherfucker at six million. Get his ass out of here so we can get the dude. Get, uh, get use the roster spot, man. What are we talking about here? So, cut him. Here's a que- hey, Demond, I got a question for you, bro. Everybody, so, tell me what their team gonna look like. I want to see what next year team gonna look like. The same with your, give me, no, give no, me it's not. No, it's not. It's about to, it, like. we about to take the sledgehammer to this roster. He not going into the luxury tax, so don't even fucking get excited, man. Nothing's gonna happen. They're gonna cut salary because they're gonna use the same excuse. Oh, I'm gonna pay it when we when we ready to to win. That ain't gonna happen. Everybody, gonna, give me what they starting five might look like next year. It's gonna be the same dudes. The same dudes. Man. I, 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 I'll go Kool Aid. Still go gonna Kool-Aid. be here. No, we not. I'm no, telling not. you, bro, they not gonna no, do no. nothing. No, and then who are you gonna go get? You the top I'm, three. I'm, agents, I'm, I'm, I'm about the to top see. three agents. The top three agents gonna resign. The only person that might leave right now, top free agents, is uh Paul George. Top free agents. Not niggas. These niggas want to make uh go trade for these niggas. Just be making up shit. Hey, we're gonna go trade for this dude. The dude's not available. I'm talking about free agents at the end of the season. Paul Paul George. They are um far off on contract talks. You can go sign them. Yeah. You can go well, get well, them. Who you well, think well. you can get to replace Clint Capella? Anybody in Atlanta? A broom with a stick glued to it. So I don't, I don't think Clint Capella is saying we're going to have to replace Clint Capella with a center. What center you think that we could possibly replace you going, Clint You're going to go, you're gonna gonna go, you're gonna get him out the draft because you don't want to pay him. That's what I'm talking about, and that's why I tell people. Don't even fathom shit until the owner make a commitment to winning. And then guess what? When you go get a center, right? Everybody want another big. What the fuck we gonna do with this double O motherfucker? And he's supposed to be the starting Start, center of the future. Start, start him. Start him. No, no, no. Start him. That's not off the center. bench. Double O is that's not a waste of pick. You gonna have number four? Double O is not a center. What look like? Well, you got double O. If double O was playing tonight, double O would have gotten used. He got how many more years? Clint got on his. He played well versus. He played well versus. He got. He got one more year, right? Yeah. He played well versus. Got one more year too. Double O is too small. He needs to work on his power forward. He got five years. Double O just playing in the back to the back. So his contract kick in next season. His extension. So dang, Clint got yeah. one more year at twenty-two million dollars. Well, I'm, 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 I'm in Landry head. I'm, I'm, I'm playing in Landry of, head, man. Like I tell people, uh, no team is gonna take Clint off your hands without a pick attached. Why would they take on that money for what? If well, Clint, they took on John Collins, Collins, they took on John Collins' money. Clint, they did what? They took on John Collins. And well, they had the they, waste of a contract. They, they had the space, but guess what? They had the space to take John. We. Fucked ourselves. You, that that's dead money. That's dead money. Twenty five million dollar trade exception. What is it doing right now? Well, the month we have until July thirty first to use it. Do you know that NBA teams rarely use twenty five million dollar trade exception? You know we had that exception. You know what we used it for so far was the tri- was the take on uh what was them two dudes we got rid of Osama Lee. What them dudes we sent to Oklahoma City. What them two dudes named use some love or whatever the fuck they name was two million dollars. That's it. The rest of that well, shit the is month, still the month we have the month we have we, we have until July 31st to use they it. They not gonna use it. I put I put a hundred dollars, it don't get used. We'll see. You wanna take that bet? I bet a hundred dollars. You tell better me, hope he pay you your money. Tell me the last team that had a $25 million trade. I always pay. I always I always pay, Ryan. I always pay. <laughs> I always pay. Hey. Well, Flint, hey, Flint say you didn't. That's why I'm saying. Name line. At 25. <laughs> Cat not available, man. Where do y'all get this from? Hey, man, I'll take, uh, man, you know, I told you tomorrow. I'll, so I'll here's a question a I got for, I'll I got a question a for y'all. Cat. What are y'all going, so what's going to happen with Clint? He's getting long in the tooth or whatnot. Now you got one guy who was known for crashing the boards in college this year. And he got an old man type of game, but he can actually score in the paint. I was Ooh. saying, what about Armando Baycock? Same size, younger, I still like strong. Him. I'm he, saying he from North a, Carolina, you can bring a, a, him a, in. A fellow, a fellow alum, Demond. As long as he's not a top ten pick, is he outside the lottery? Uh, that I don't know. 
Because there's a lot of talent coming out this year. So that I don't know. Well, I'm gonna tell you right now, they're gonna they they should address the big position in the draft so you can't have yep. a guy that you can develop on a rookie ass, cheap ass contract because this dude not spending no money. He not that's he why not I was saying no that's money. why I was saying possibly that's why I'm like, we're gonna keep Bruno, but I'm saying you bring in a young Armando Baycock or whatnot. I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you who his game is like. Go back and you if you watched Armando Baycock at North Carolina, Armando plays like an old school Moses Malone. He's going to beat you down in the paint. Strong, going to rebound, yeah, and he shoot. also is going to take them points. He got to be able to shoot the ball. But no, he can. He's got a mid he's got a mid range, he's got a little mid range yeah, jumper he, and he, he also he, he, he playing for the best school in the country. Can he shoot? That's of the course, man can all operate. Day. Hey, oh, I just missed what y'all said. My bad. Oh, can he shoot the ball? Yes, Ooh, he can. Not shoot from where? Ooh, he he's a he's a man can't shoot threes. Guy. If he can't, he can't shoot, shoot threes, no, he ain't no three point uh, shooter. We, oh we, we no, 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 But here's the thing: with all these three, Demar, come on, dog. With all these fools that shooting threes on this team, we need somebody that's gonna do dirty work, bro. If you keep it, what I'm saying is Trey is Trey still here, bro? I'm just saying, man. That's what I'm saying, man. If you go go get a five who can't shoot. Three, you might as well just start Bruno. Bruno can do all that. He just can't shoot the three. Go no, no, no. Armando oh, is the hell of a defender and he can score in the paint. Bruno oh, can shoot. Bruno. Bruno. Oh, no, that's all you're looking at is Bruno Ryan's shooting. But about. here's the question How Bruno many layups? Has wait, no John, hold close game. Wait, wait, wait. wait. How we many don't need him. Do you see Clint missing? DeMar, let's be real. How many times do you see Clint missing easy layups? Who, Armando who ain't missing play for? No, Clint, Clint not going to be here. I, I, I get I that, but yeah, how you know many that. times have you seen him miss easy layups, bro? I need Let's a, be real. I, 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 I think I think Lambda gonna bring Clint back to play his one uh, year. See, you don't talk about bring in. You might as well bring in, bring in Baycock. Baycock don't miss stuff on the paint like that. You don't necessarily need no three point big man. You don't need no, if you Armando know. Baycott, no, is he better know. than... Guess, um, guess who you just played, John? Guess who you just played? You just played a team where their big can shoot the three. That's okay. who we just played. But, and, and now, yeah, now, but they don't... But they don't how many shots did your boy miss in the paint? Come on, that man. That big can shoot the three, but that big ain't working on defense because you have nobody that can score down there that can make him work on defense. He and on my to shoot the three point. Who can't play defense? What? You you don't have anybody big Bruno nor Clint Capella that makes a center or a power forward work on defense where you can get him in foul trouble. Yeah, if you have so, uh, yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. I don't know. Next year, do you think Moji? Do what you think does, does, what does yeah. what does who does Giannis is gonna be or on this team play check here? when they're on defense playing against us? Who do they check? Who is their man? No damn body. No, they just roam no. Okay. They so, just so, roam so, free. Don, who they, they, to so, so, so do I. Who was guarding Bruno tonight? I don't know. Nobody was. was. Bruno was, was getting off. Brooke Lopez. Lopez was going up. But here's the thing: you can have the team. But Bruno wasn't even worth guarding tonight. No, but it doesn't. But I'm saying, John, John, you can say he wasn't worth guarding. That's Brooke Lopez's decision that he made. But Bruno took advantage of him, quote unquote, not guarding him. There but you go. To, but to what Demond right. was saying, I'm going to say is that I don't necessarily think it's that dire per se of us having a a, a seven foot a, 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 a center of five who can who can shoot the three. That would be nice. No, no, I don't That's, want no. I don't but, want. But you need somebody. But I'm, I'm gonna say this: more than likely in 2024, he probably can. Or exactly. will be within within a couple or a few seasons. So I wouldn't too much think about that. I think though that we need to make sure that if we get a five, we need to draft one that he is at least seven feet, and okay. also two would you is that it need to be a defensive person because bro, like we'll talk with Trey, 
but offense Mike, is not an issue. But offense Mike, I got a question for you, dog. So would you? So here's no, the thing. No, it's not, man. Yes, defense it is. is the problem. The we always is John. Okay, John. What is our record this season? We suck. Why are we even doing this whole toxic back and forth, preparing players, this, this, and that? During this whole time, during this whole disappointing season, where have we ranked offensively, points per game wise? How are we? We, we ranked by third or fourth. So, so y'all talking to me about offense? No, go get me somebody and, who's gonna and, change and, and, us and, and turn this around defensively. John, that's why. Right John, that's why I said Armando no, Baycock. He's a defensive way, specialist, bro. The only bro. true way that no, y'all no, gonna turn no, me no, around no, and get me to change as my as far as what I be saying about Trey and all this stuff, we we can I keep Trey right. if you literally get a seven footer who is a basically can be a great defender, like. Like if somehow we can get Wimby here or get an Embiid type here or something, then okay, that's great. Um, but we right. can't. So the thing is, you hey, need hey, that. But hey, well, Tavares lead the league in blocking defense. Oh, and uh, Mandria, he finna get them in the playoff. Yeah, that's we got right. to address so, defense. Please. Offense not the problem. Trey Young, Mike, I want to be. That's why, why Mike. That's why I said I'm Mike. Mike. That's why I said I'm Mike. No dog. A Trey Young team will score points. I don't really too much care who you throw out there. As long as they're NBA players, that team will score points. But will they defend? But that, that's the problem. problem. Now, see, John, that's, John, see, but John, that's why I said Armando Baycock. You asked yeah, six we, foot, can, here you go, we, six foot 11, 240, led the ACC in we, blocks, and also was averaging 15 to 20 points a game, and he was averaging damn near almost 20 rebounds a game in the paint. That is that's a dude right there that can play. That's what I'm saying. You can bring a guy like that in and groom him. I but, want somebody that says And on, on a rookie contract, right. you can that's bring him in. What's that's his name? Well, I, I, look, I, 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 I love my school, but I would go with Khalil Wade. Okay. I want somebody. Khalil, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not opposed to Khalil Wade, but I'm talking about some of the other issues that we've had. You got a guy that can crash the thing about it, Mike. Man. 7-1. How's his defense though? Because everything I kind of see him is offensive related. So Matt, so Excellent. Matt, you're not I think he averages this. two and a half so rebounds, two so and a half Matt. blocks a game. So Matt, you just not gonna mention his time in Oregon, huh? Demar, why, why, why we bringing up old shit? Oh, okay. Okay. So Edie, so wait a minute, wait a minute. So so old, so what in the chat, dog. Demar, what year is he? Then? <laughs> if he so played at not his time in Oregon, huh, Matt? Oh, what year is he then? If he played at another school, what year is he? The second year, Matt, second year, Mike. Matt second is year. relevant, oh, man. It's relevant, man. Hey, 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 hey. Second year. Like he second sucked year. at Oregon or something? No, 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 no. Mike, the reason DeMond bringing that up is because they said he was he had, like, a low motor. He was a little immature at Oregon. But he was 17 years old. Also, Demond, how was you at seventeen? I was a normal person at seven. Not man, you. Man, he was up there smashing. I was a normal man, person at seventeen. No, nah, man, 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 man. I was a normal person. Man, I, I, mean, I can't say that, dog. Hey, because let's let be real. The words that his current head coach said. They said hmm. that he was lazy. Yeah, you, even gonna wanna, you even gonna want to compete? At seventeen, you don't. at seventeen, yes, at 17, even at seventeen, bro, you even gonna compete or you not? Hey, it's man, period, okay, but they don't, hey, they don't Matt, talk Matt, about him. Hey, like, at seventeen, Ant Man was a dog. Ant Man, so, Mike, so you telling me, Mike, Mike you? Is his current coach is he yeah. lying? Is he lying? He said he was lazy this season. And no, he said that's what they said. They said he said Mike Wilson. He said he said he was lazy. They say he was at work exactly at when he was 17 at work. So why would a program like Oregon let a top prospect go like that? He if entered the transfer portal program. on his own. Do you know how much these top programs put up with a lot of bullshit from these kids? No, so you tell me if he, this dude was you, that you didn't, good, you why didn't watch his story. Ma, you didn't watch his story. Hey, he talked about would, he him wanted to leave Oregon and wanted to go for a, a play for a coach and a or in a, in a program that would pour into him and make him better, challenge him. So that's why he went. Why would we talk about Oregon? They have they have a center now that's better than all these guys you're talking about, and his name is Sunday. Is better than Bangkok. He's better than all these other guys you're talking about. What's his name, Mary? Dante. That's what. Dante, Dante, what? Last name is Dante. Last name is Dante. Oh, what, what, Khalil, where, Khalil, where is the last name? Is that? But what's his first name? 
Khalil, Khalil going to be a star. Third, I'm telling you. Hey, wait, wait, wait. wait. Demond, didn't you want De- right. DeAndre Ayton? Right. 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 African first name, not African last name. Right. 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 Didn't you want DeAndre right. Ayton? Who well, how you spell it? I was about to spell it black. I want DeAndre Ayton. Hey, Mike, don't mess that man name up. In the NBA. You said what NBA. You guys see me? Uh, you want a 25 year old lady, dude? I you don't want to take a chance 20, on a dude a who was lazy at 17. Who, shoot, I want a 20 and 10 guy who can shoot for every level on the I court. NBA proven. Man. Oh, I want. Uh, uh, shoot, I want. You talking about? Now. Man, wait a minute. You talking about the Hawks right about now? Nafel Dante. Man, that boy yeah. lighting the ass. Stop it. Nafel Dante. Nafel Dante. He decent, dog, but he ain't better oh, than Baker. And he ain't a sitter, though. Hey, but where my boy going, though? Because he, I forgot about him because I wanted him last year. But he stayed in school. He went to Alabama. I ain't watched college this year, though. What my boy been doing at Alabama this year? I forgot all about Well, apparently Alabama going to the Final Four this year. They just, they they pressed their ticket tonight. What he doing? What Grant Nelson doing? He been balling? Grant Nelson been balling this year, bro. They pressed their ticket tonight. No, because I wanted him last season. I wanted him after last year, but they said he was going to stay and transfer. Well, Mike. Well, they're going to the final four, so you'll get to see what he'll do in that oh, final boy. four coming up this year. Alabama and you kind of gone. And Demar, and Demar, you know, you know who, you know who uh, Khalil's pro cop okay. is. He's seven Ooh. feet, twenty-two years old. Brook um, Lopez, uh, 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 offensive Brook Lopez. Mike has put up twenty-eight and twenty versus Creighton uh, in, in his last game. Well, Lopez never was Creighton. labeled lazy. Mm, but that's that's a it's a March Madness game. You talking about mm. March Madness? No, no, not March Madness. Yeah, that, like, that was two years ago. Was that was he two mad? Years ago, Lopez, was, Lopez, when he came out, was never la- labeled lazy. He hey, Demar, you team. Team. Oh, no. Larry got a vote. Hey, hey Demar, 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 you know who the start? Demar, Demar, you know who the star of his college team was? Demar, who? Landry Fields. And you see where Landry Fields at now? Fucking us up. Yeah. Awful. Exactly. Retired because of injury. He was an awful player, and he sucks at executive. Hey, fellas, I'm about to the end of two hours, my guy. Hey, thanks for tapping in, everybody. Thanks for everybody who tapped in on the oh, watch. Man. He went over two hours. Hey, we are out of here, man. Cool. Next game, important Don't game. Drink, the Bulls. So hopefully, uh, we should beat the Bulls. We beat the Bulls. We'd be tied with them for the ninth spot. So, come on, that, JJ. That'll give us that home game, that home game for the play in it, and hopefully, uh, and hope that should be JJ should be coming back for that game. So So it can be watchable again. But salute to everybody for tapping, man. I appreciate y'all. I'm going to the garage, and we are out of here. Drop, drop link real quick, the man. Larry asked for the link. I'm so